what a great day this is. What's up, Jack? I'm going to let a few people get into the room, and then I will start getting some stuff together. As always, you know, we're never prepared, but I do have some big plans for today for you guys. <laughs> I was busy sending out 3,000 offers. Uh-huh. What were you busy doing? Messing around? Hi, Kathy. Kathy, you're going to love some of the stuff today. Same with you, Thomas. Thomas, there's going to be awesome stuff that you'll like today as well. So we have a lot of interesting items. I'm going to bring um, probably some of the best stuff I've brought in a good three to six months. I mean, I always bring awesome stuff, but today's going to be some exceptional items. We've got some interesting news on the, the house front down south, so we're starting to get some uh, some down payment money together so that we can make sure that if everything goes through that we have a house. Hey, Sandy. Hi, Joyce. Hey, Crispy. Hello, Crispy. Crispy, I think Scotty wanted to get a hold of you. He bought some, uh, he bought some, uh, poker chips yesterday from the Grove in Venton, Louisiana. He bought like 181 chips from us. All from the 19th. He's looking to flip them if you're interested. Hey, Backpack Trajine. So I have a bunch of albums to do today. Really high-end autographed baseballs, along with regular balls. Obviously, I guarantee everything to be authentic. Um, I have the absolute best postcard slash card album I've ever seen uh, with Halloween cards and other items in it that are amazing. I have a bunch of trade cards that are going to come in. And if we've got some some people, I have a bunch of Godet Lady fashions from the 1840s, 18 pieces. Um, hey, Kyle T. Just, just awesome stuff. I may bring, I have a Woodstock leather made um, shirt that I paid a few hundred bucks for. I can only find one other person by this leather maker who was actually at Woodstock and selling outfits that they were making at the Woodstock Festival. Um, and that thing, the other one that's available online right now doesn't even look anything close to as cool as this one. So we're going to have an 86 Fleer Michael Jordan rookie uh, from my recent purchase. We're going to sell that today at auction. And lots of other interesting items. So just giving everybody a couple minutes to get in here. Take it with fire it. Get a drink. Corn. Hey, Nikki. Any comics that I unsee last week? Um, I do have a box of comics on the table. I don't know what's in it. So around to those as well. But we're going to do at least six or eight of the albums that we've been selling today. Um, and these are pretty awesome. They're not just postcards. It's some trade cards, some really early billhead, just amazing advertising pieces. And we will get underway there. If I do that, because can see if I can move this over some. Nope, it looks like if I move it over. Hey, Talbert's mom. There we go. Hi, Talbert's. Okay, we have 41. That's good enough. Okay, we got 40 to thank you guys for being here early. Um, we're going to start out with this. This was an album that the actual album itself was busted. So these were in it. I thought these were awesome. My mom actually loves these. But you can see shirt waist, developed and checkered. So this is fashion. You know, these are 
1906 from the Delinator. Then these are engravings. I didn't actually look to see if there's more than one or two in each thing. Engraved, engraved for LaBelle Ensemble. And that one is 1819, April 1st of 1819. And it is a hand tinted engraving. <clears throat> this is, these are the Godet hey, engraved, uh, engraved exclusively for Godet's Ladies Book by J.I. Please. So this is a huge lot of really early 1800s fashion. Journal of de Moselles. And the, probably this one's probably 1840s. This one, I'm trying to see if they have years. Get my magnifier. As I get older, my eyesight's not quite as good as it used to be when I was young. Engraved for La Belle. Ensembles. Publicized February 1st, 1818. So that's 1818 fashion. Ton, 1838. This one's really cute with the kids. I think I should need. So I'm going to let you guys have fun. They're going to start this lot at 20 bucks. Um, it is a large lot. They are super early. This one is 1818 as well. So these are very, very early fashion engravings. La Follette. Obviously, it's written in another language. Graham's Magazine, that's 1830s. There you go. You can see who did them. There's the year of... can't read it. Beautiful. The colors are real nice. So every one of these is multiple pieces. So it's like, you know, here's one, and then there's another separate one on the back. They're not like one piece with something on the back of it. They are truly engraving plates, and they are original vintage. These are actually really good fashion. Hopefully my mom's not watching this. Thomas in at 50. And then I'll give you guys a count at the end. This is 1818. eighteen September. Modes of the Paris. So these are fashions of Paris of 1869. Another 1817. 60 is Kathy These are probably like from a soup 1880s calls because it has the the uh, skirt numbers, and so these would be pattern numbers. And then here's another French Mods de Paris Journal of De Macellus. 75 was up. 100 with PNC. Morning visiting dress. This is 1825. Mark Johnson is out. There you go. R. Ackerman. <laughs> hey, Patsy. How are you, sweetheart? Hey, Pat. 125 with Kathy Bauer. Pat helped us create our thumbnail cue, Pat. That's awesome. So this is 1880s as well. <clears throat> or actually, this is 1840s. Sorry. Like hoop and loop. The game, you can see the loop right here. You wonder what Kathy Bauer? I'm going to flip them a little bit faster. 
Remember, so this $10 is, increments. Yep. 1811. So, you know, over 200 years old. And these are beautiful fashions. And these aren't the little tiny ones. These are some pretty good size. This is from Graham's Magazine. All hand tinted and colored. Engravings. 1856. He's wanting to style up. This is beautiful. Like these colors are really vibrant. Once you get anything older than like 1870, these get really, really hard to find. This one's 1832. Beautiful. This is all hand drawn and hand done when they did these engravings. These are great. I didn't even look at these. I just kind of picked up the album and the album fell apart. So I put them on the tray for you guys. This one's early as well. <laughs> Le Messier from Paris. This is a really like you can see how big that is, just even compared to my hand. This one's got two lovely ladies with the old bicycle. Nineteen oh four. Two lovely ladies. So it looks like about 1811 through 1904 so far is the newest one. 1814. Afternoon dress. These are just, I mean, this is the stuff I like to bring to you guys, but even I don't find it that often. And usually if I do find this stuff, my mom steals it. But she's my mom, so she's welcome to steal this type of stuff. Ball dress, 1819. <laughs> Les Follettes. Watch the video over and over again and see these. And then she won't lose them in her mountains of stuff that she has, too. And then I will get you guys a count in just a few minutes. Where's our Greg Lusk at? Is he here today? <clears throat> no, no Greg Lusk. 1822. Beautiful fashion. What'd you order? What are they delivering? If our pizza's coming in one of those trucks, we got a problem. 1828. Oh, dumpster for your stuff. That's not nice. <laughs> These people are going to be very upset with you. Yeah. Toilette de dinner. I don't know if I would go to the toilet at dinner, but hey. I bet it's 300. Le bon ton. And then here they even show you all the different lace, like collars. The Cuffs, skirters, here's the bonnet. Hey, Nancy. It breaks everything down. This one is 1838. <coughs> Engravings. All fashion. Graham's Magazine. La Follette. There's a huge profit in these. Taking in the arbor. Beautiful. Like this one's 1830s fashion. Country girl. La Ball Ensemble. That one's 1820. This one's 1834. Here's one that's not fashion. But 1885. Like it has the uh, Mason's compass up there. This one is 1828. Hey, Mr. Hot Wheels. Looks 
Those are really, really beautiful. This is 1902. So the newest item in here that we've seen so far is 1904, all the way back in nine. I did Talbert's mom, I saw. Really beautiful, hand tinted. <laughs> That one's really beautiful colored. La Novelle mode. They are. They're very nice, Mark. Paris fashions. And then here's the artist. Early French fashion is just stupendous. <laughs> this one has an old car behind it. It's really cool. These are 1904. This one is 1843. Or no, 1834. Up there, 1834. Look how colorful it is. These have been really well preserved. This one's 1861. So on average, 150 plus years old each. And we're getting down towards the bottom of the box. This one's 1872. You're always welcome. 310 with TNT. This one in the slot, walking dress. 320 with style up, 400 with Nancy Miller. Okay, so you got two, four, six, six ten. 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42, 44, 46, Seventy nine. Seventy nine pieces in this lot. Five seventy five with Nancy Newell. So I promised you guys some of the best of the best today. So that's what we're gonna do. Six hundred with Kathy Bauer. So seventy nine pieces. <clears throat> French fashion. Nancy's out. Dragon Mom, the bless. So 79 pieces. Free shipping in the U.S. Of vintage French fashion. Nancy is out. Thank you, Nancy. Hey, Green Monster. Let him talk to himself back there. So we're at 600 with Kathy. We're looking for 610 or better, guys. 610 or better. We are still under $10 a piece. <laughs> Kathy said, let's see if you, let's see if you last. Oh, nice, man. I'm going to move down south. This These will be beautiful down there. When I look at this stuff, I look at it like, you know, hey, it's 30 to $50 on average ones and 100 bucks on good ones. 
There's money to be made. And I love the fact that you guys are adding these to your collections and that they're going somewhere that's not just the warehouse here. I really do wish that I could do that with everything. A curtsy. Sold, sold, sold. Thank 600. you, Kathy. Congratulations, Kathy. Okay, I know these are probably not the greatest lot in the auction, but <clears throat> you guys saw me go through all the old envelopes and the moldy paper and stuff. This is the cream of the cream. This is what I pulled out personally to, to do singles with. Oh, it's a small stack. They're dirty, they're musty, but just this is the best of the best. So this is a Phillies, you know, Philadelphia Phillies. This is the 1940s. Probably had his season tickets in it originally. Here's a Hershey Stadium. Hershey PA presents preseason professional football, the Philadelphia Eagles versus the New York Giants. This is 19, late 30s or early 40s. Philadelphia Eagles Football Club. It's in 1946. So, football Club. K. Kamen Limited, who is one of the first people to sell Mickey Mouse items. So Disney, you can sit right there. 1939. Early Levi. Strauss, 1936. This is like buckle back Gene era. American Baseball Club of Philadelphia, 1943. Because it's got Alfred Hitchcock on the front of it. It says suspense. Cooperstown Baseball Centennial. Pottsville Kitties Day from 1938, but inside is a a pamphlet. Right there, the playground for Pottsville. And then this is actually the coolest thing to me. We kids want pony cycle. Merry go round. So this was a toy. Okay. And then the two best pieces in my opinion, even though the one is is rough as far as condition goes, I'll leave it to last. This one here is not too, too bad. Got a New York one cent stamp on it. This was for the Lone Ranger dolls. They were like an 18 to 20 inch doll made. This, they were made in 1935 through 1938. So they made a Tonto and a Lone Ranger. I've had the dolls before, but this is super awesome. Never seen that before. And then the last item is this envelope for Gone with the Wind. So this is obviously came out in 1939. This is probably 1939, 1940. Attention of children's and juniors underwear buyer. That they apparently did a, a line of wind released by MGM Gone with the Wind underwear. So if you're a Gone with the Wind collector, you're going to pay crazy money for this because there's none out there. You had to own a store to even remotely get something like this. So that's what you get in the slot. Lots of Philadelphia Eagles football. You've got Gone with the Wind. You've got Lone Ranger. You've got the Phillies. That's what you get in this lot. This is probably the lesser lot of the day. <laughs> but 25 with style up. Oh, yeah. Laminating it would be awesome. So we're at 27 with Christine O'Brien. And that Mickey Mouse one's really cool, too, because it's early Mickey. Before George Borgfeld, Mickey. Before. I had a, uh, a letter from 1941 for Wizard of Oz 
saying that they were re-releasing it because I guess the original was 1939. And it had like some of the characters up in the top left corner. And I did super, super well with that because of the content of the letter. It actually went museum. And they paid buku money for it. For a letter anyway. 37 will style up. Oh, Talbert's, I know. I just meant like for today's auction. As far as condition-wise goes, today's auction is crazy. Hey, Mark. We have Christy S. in at 40. Style Up's in at 42. And if there's anything you guys need to see up closer, just let Pam know. She'll tell me. I'm going to bring it up closer to the camera just so you guys can see it a little bit better. Like if you have the Lone Ranger doll, putting this envelope with it, it would be awesome. 46 will style up. Forty-eight And I think this is neat, like a merry-go-round with little kids. 1940s. They were trying to get this for their playground. <laughs> Kyle T. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Pace. She doesn't do real... Like, she would have never been able to sort through the stuff. It would have got her hands all broke out. I was dying when I left here yesterday. <clears throat> <laughs> Style. 55 of Christy S. So we're at 55. We're looking for 60. 60 would be the next bid. <laughs> Style up with 60. Christy is out. Any of you people like cowboy stuff? I think I know where there's a cowboy of arcade exhibit cards. I might have to break it into two because it's probably got a couple thousand cards in it that I normally sell into it today. Who knows? Probably like to know what the lot is again. He just jumped in. Oh, it's these are old envelopes in various condition. This one's for the Lone Ranger doll from 1936. This one is from 1939 for Kay Kamen with Mickey Mouse. There's two Philadelphia Eagles ones from 1946. I know what you mean. There's a Gone with the Wind one. There's a couple baseball, but they are they've gotten damp, so condition is not amazing on them. But the Strauss American Baseball Club of Philadelphia. Seven, you are married. Philadelphia Eagles, New York Giants. Um, this is awesome. of the best out of like 6,000 envelopes that I went through. We've sold a few here in the auction of the lesser, what I would consider the lesser stuff. But this is definitely the best of the best. Kyle, let us know how that goes. Hope everything goes well. I get mine in two weeks. Definitely concerned. I grew boobies from my first one. You didn't even get your shot yet, dude. Then where did I get these boobies from? Yourself. Are you <laughs> trying to say it's because I got fat? <laughs> she gave me that look that said, you got fat, that's how you got boobies. Uh, we couldn't get this here. They, they recalled ours. I'll pass on that one and done shot anyway. <laughs> I don't know. I'm waiting on the enlargement and um, COVID shot all in one. 
Yes, I will make him wash his hands after this. Oh, they're not a side effect. Jeez. I want you to wash your hands because they're allergic to mold. Okay. <laughs> cool. I'm just going to go wash his hands. I'm going to go wash my hands. Well, Pam writes out a label and says sold to you guys. I'm taking the microphone with me so they can hear me wash my hands. That way, if anybody's got to pee, it's going to help them. They have the water running. Yeah, this here. Hey, that water's hot. A little hand sanitizer now. Okay, hands have been washed and sanitized. Should I show them something else? No, right here. <laughs> okay. Hey, why are you goosing me while you're walking by me? Look, little cute little album. Okay, cute little album. We have 79 in here. Don't know what's in this album. But this is from the album collection. Um, I have I have two big trays of them, but those were the best of the best. The other trays are like Buster Brown shoes and Boy Scouts of America, similar to the other ones that we sold the other day. Who asked that, Mary? Uh, uh, so these are early wrappers no for soap. Super cool. Awesome. A chauffeur's license from 1927. This is just as far as a film goes. The guy's picture inside. He was a chauffeur in 1927. Hey, Brian. He probably drove Miss Daisy. Good cheer. <laughs> Trot that messenger. Membership book of the Hod, oh wait, Hod Carriers Building and Common Laborers Union. Mary, I'll add them to your, they'll all go together when he sends an invoice tonight. Yep, I'll be sending invoices tonight. Look at this. Like a little wooden plaque has this postage card on it. There. Burdock Blood Bitters. So that's 1880s. It's 19th award. Michigan automobile certificate. 1919. So it's like a driver's license. Department of State in Lansing, Michigan. 1913. 1925. State of California automobile. So like a title, I guess. Here's a whole bunch more. They're super early. There's a lot of people who collect these. Carry this card when driving. You know. This one is... Give me a year. 1926. It expires in 1926. With Murray. Certificate of registration for motor vehicle. This was for a Ford Model T from 1922. So these are – so I haven't pulled any of this stuff out to look at it. Here's the original envelope, and here is the booklet. 1890. Another Farmers and Mutual. Kalamazoo State Hospital from 1939. Harleysville, little notepad from 1947. Who? Greg Lusk? Greg Lusk. Oh, Greg Lusk. 
Easter wishes, and then you go into a dedication cover. Blue Water International Bridge. So this is probably actually really good because. Counting book. This is 18, looks like 1894. Southwark National Bank, leather covered account book. Here's some Elvis cards, bylaws, Fairwood Council for Freemasons, United American Mechanics, but this is the masonry symbol. One stand with Todd Miller. Not sure what these little things are. Program, opening selection orchestra, Reverend Banquet, President of the Evening, Martha Washington. So this were for a play with a menu. Washington Bacon, given by the Rose Ladies Hall, 1913. Borden's Ice Cream with Elsie. See if the Dixie Couplet has any characters or anything on the back of it. It does. Look, it's got Clark Gable on the back. 140 with style up. Looks like it still has the paper over top of it. That's cool because it's Borden's and it's got the got Clark Gable on it. Conestoga Fertilizers, Advertising. Senior class of 1916, Yipsy Lanty. Blanche Walters has her original card inside and the original envelope. American America form C1 Transportation to Cincinnati. Here's some old, ooh, one of these, hang on. So these are 1940s non-sports cards. There's that one, and there's one over there. That one's Freedom's War. I don't know if this is the same because this has a red, white, and blue border. Fighting Marines. Those are in really nice condition. Here is a Weirdos card. Here's a nice, beautiful like little girl postcard. 175 with Thomas. An advertising trade card for tobacco and cigars of the plant of Horlick Company. So that's an advertising trade card. Up. Drink trading card. Digestive vehicle code 1944. Military photo. Okay, I think that's it in this album. Mr. So that's what's in the, this album. Lots of chauffeurs licenses. Cool. So a very cool little album. So we have 82 watching. Thank you, everybody, for being here. As always, it's greatly appreciated. Yeah, this was a great collection. When I bought, I think I bought 60 albums, is that right? 60 albums for like five grand. And they were awesome. Mary is out. Out. Right, 200 with Mr. Hartley. Right, 210 with Thomas L. You're already doing that, Grammy. He is out. Thank you for your bids, Kyle. Hoping we get up to 100 people today. On that 100 person mark, we're going to boom shakalaka. The whole cell is going to be crazy. Crazy sale.
Oops, clicked on the wrong one. There we go. Sold, sold, sold to Thomas L for two ten. It's a really neat lot. I think getting in a really cool. Okay, let's do the next album. You guys, do you want to see some sports stuff next, or do you want me to keep doing albums? I know somebody wants a comic book lot, so I'll make a comic book lot in just a second. So these are Victorian die cut little cards that actually open up, and there's little other things inside. These are all die cut here. So these are all 1880s, 1890s. Beautiful little die cuts. These are almost like what they would, you know, give out as like, hey, here's a business card. And then usually on the backs, you would write your name. Let's let us see. Watch, I'm going to grab one that doesn't have anything on the back of it. Ha. But usually you would just, you know, hand write your name. And these are all embossed die cuts. Beautiful little girl. These are fully embossed die cutted die cuts. These are super early. Right there. So you can see that it's all embossed. Every one of these. So there's all die cuts. See, here's the back of some names. Let me see if there's if the front has any color. If they just cut these and never applied anything to the other side, look at the handwriting from back then or the writing. Like, look how fancy that is. Okay, so then you get into some cards. We need an official counter. You have the Jamaican lady with the uh, fruits on. This one is a scene from Gone with the Wind. Clark Gable and Vivian Lee. Gone with the Wind postcard. That's actually probably really good. This is a huge album with hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of cards. Look at the little doggy and kitty on the hot air balloon. This is really cool. This one's a reproduction, though. This one's a repro. Reproduction. You can tell because it's dated 1996 on it. Anytime I ever see anything that I am questionable about, I'm going to show you guys. That's because... Okay. Hey, Pam. What? Slide this in. It's very frustrating. What? I pulled it out of the sleeve, and now I can't get it again. Okay. There you go. You ran. Oh, you were. There you go. What does it take to slide a card back into a sleeve? A lot. Okay. Hey, Swamp Picker. That was work. These are beautiful die cut 1920s. These are all fully embossed. Very early. Nice little die cuts here. This one's a really early one, like probably 1870s. Looks to be hand done. These are all beautiful cards. This looks like a uh, three kids for Halloween, like the nineteen probably the nineteen thirties or forties. Three little girls. One's dressed as a cat. One has a mask. Can't tell what the other one is. Same with this, but without their mask on. These are nineteen forties linenette. Big letter cards. Real photo postcards. 
of different people. Here's Texas. Nice silhouette card from 1910. More really funny cards. Real colorful. You got the train ride. That's really neat. And there are multiple cards in a few of these. Copyright by Samuel Goldwyn with the mermaid. It's really cute. With the Knights of Labor. Wines. Uh, here's a wine side of it. Is that Pam? No. Probably. Probably. You can reduce it to this. I had like a letter from you. Painting Battle of Bunker Hill at Faunas. More die cut. Oh, this one's awesome. Right. Let's see if I can pull this one up for you guys to look at. Look at this. We're at 260 with Todd Miller. The whole damn household. Young Miss Dam, the damn fool, the damn kid, the damn cook, the damn nuisance. <laughs> it's funny. Okay, you got tons more cards here. I'll try to give you guys some idea of a count once I'm through them. It's from the 40s and 30s. Hope or not, Trey. That's funny. One an old car. She barely fits. This one's really cute. Good night. Oh, Jack B. Nimble. Oh, that's two. There go. A photo, cabinet photo. Cute little cowboy. The ruffian. These little kid cards are really cute. These are done on like Leninette, 1930s and 1920s. This one has a few cards in. The King's Dragoon Guard scouting at dawn, South Africa, 1902. Boat landing in Lincoln Park, Chicago. There's a couple pieces in that one. Real photo postcard of an elk. Which cow? Well, you're probably way far back based on there because I'm 20 to 30 seconds ahead of them. The wool, maybe. Here. So you think you've got troubles? Oh, the cow stepping on its own udders. I got it. Here's the state flag, Pennsylvania. Here's a really early German card or Dutch card. This one's awesome. Boarding house, table manners. Embossed, that's 1890s to 1900-ish. Here's a nice Santa Claus. It's got creasing on it, though. More cards. Passing a bad scent. Limburger cheese. Up, Nancy. Hotel Edison. What's up with Nancy? Oh, that's, yeah, that's no fun. 300 with style up. The horned toad pet of, of the army on the border. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Well, if he's asking if he wants to get help, he's supposed to be fixing the car and he's making out with the guy's wife. Little britches. That's really cute. This one's got actually like a sewn outfit. Like this is all thread. <laughs> Embossed. <laughs> going for sister. Little boy's going to pick his sister up at school. Beach scene real photo. Coronado Beach in California. Awesome boat right here.
And I know normally I start everything out super cheap, guys. There will be two or three pieces today that I have to kind of start out a little bit higher. But you'll see why. So these are from Arbuckle or from Lion Coffee. These ones here. Here's a whole bunch more of these advertising trade cards. I'll show you one. So let's see. And then on the back, they have all the information. But usually they were in like Arbuckle. I think it's Arbuckle Coffee. It was generally the one that most of them were in. Yep, they're actually marked Arbuckle Brothers right down on the bottom of the front. So these are all Arbuckle advertising trade cards. So this is die cuts in the front, then postcards, and trade cards, advertising trade cards. Military. This one's silk, but it's embossed. Real photos of Billington Park in Washingtonville, PA, with all the squirrels. Where's Carrie Turan? Look at all the squirrels in that one. Ashland, PA. Uh, yes, we're going to sell 300, Karen. Yep, so we're at 300. And I will give you guys a fast count. Wheeler Wilson Sewing Machines, at nice advertising trade card. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, no, this isn't a good one yet. I mean, 57, not the one you're looking for. 58, 59, 60, and here's all the die cuts, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68. So we're going to say there's 67 because there's about six cards missing. So 67, 67 times 6 should be 360, and then 42 should be 402 cards, I think. 67 times 6. 402. 402, yeah. I do moth in my head. I don't know what's up with Janine. I'm not a quiet person, Janine, normally. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you missed the fashions, and now we're on. Yeah, there was 1830s and 1840s fashion engravings that were hand-tinted. We're on the second whole album. So this one is at 402 pieces in the album. So we have Style Up at 410. Yeah, no, she's usually really quiet, right? Shut up. Except when she's yelling at me. We're at 450 with Mary. 450 with Mary. 
So so. Make sure everybody can hear me today. <laughs> so nobody misses out on the good stuff. 460 with style up. <laughs> and just to give you guys a couple minutes to do a little bit of research, I'm going to bring this up to you guys. Look, this is a leather. Hippie shirt. 500 with Mary. This was made at Woodstock. It is hand signed on the front. Hop a glob at Woodstock. So you guys can do your research. But we're going to put that in today. I'm going to put it in at what I paid for it. I think it's worth a lot. So there's going to be some awesome stuff. Style up is out. Harry. Miss my Harry. I shaved it. That's why. Oh, wait. No, Harry Humstone. That's what I meant. So we're at 500 with Mary Pisano. Looking for any advance on 500. <laughs> yeah, this is... Today's auction is going to be the stuff that I've been hesitant to sell, I guess. Like the really thick albums. There was one box of albums that I've been selling to you guys that was just like all, you know, like 100, 200, 300 pieces. Some of these albums look like they have like a gazillion pieces in them. They're heavy and they're thick. Sold, sold, sold to Mary Pisano for 500. Congratulations, Mary. How many people do we have in the room? 101. 101, guys. We've got 100 people in the room. It's time. You guys can choose a Hank Aaron baseball or the real high-end album for us to sell next, and then that will move a couple things out of the way. So signed baseball or high-end album, you guys tell me. By signed baseball, I will either do a Ted Williams ball or a Hank Aaron ball, or the album. You guys tell me which one you want. Album. 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 Okay, guys. Album. This this is one of the two items that I have to get a starting bid. Um, I wasn't sure how I was going to sell this. I was either going to do it as a buy it now and just let somebody buy it, but that's kind of not fair to everybody else. Um, I was going to put a $2,000 buy it now on it, but I'm not going to do that. We are going to put a thousand dollar start price on it, so it, it. I'm sorry for the the people that you know aren't in that pay range, but I paid five hundred for this album. I spent an hour and a half looking at it at the flea market after I bought it, and I originally wasn't going to sell it here, <laughs> but you guys are awesome to me, so I'm going to. It says three hundred and fifty two cards if you count this one in the front. It's three hundred and fifty two cards. But if you guys look, these are the Cracker Jack Bears. So they all have Cracker Jack advertising. Got him playing baseball. Got him with the, the Black Americana guy. So it's going to be a $1,000 start. You already got your $1,000 start. So it's less than 3 bucks a card. Okay. These are more Cracker Jack Bears. This is Teddy Roosevelt hunting them. Teddy Roosevelt here. Them selling Cracker Jacks on the side, going over the waterfall in a Cracker Jack box. Then these are all uh, Teddy Roosevelt bears. So these are all very, very early. <laughs> Here's more Teddy Roosevelt bears. Nice, you guys. Nice. Right here. Teddy Roosevelt on a rocking horse. Awesome. The Roosevelt bears. And then these are pretty much sets. So this is Sunday, Monday. So these are the Bonnet Girl. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So this is all seven for that set. Then you have January, February, March, April, May. These are dated 1904 or 1906. 1906, the Ullman Manufacturing Company. And then here you have June, July. And it looks like... 
because those those postcards came in boxes of Cracker Jacks. See, July, August. There's an extra August. So some of them have multiple cards. So there's more than 352 cards. September, October, November, December. So that's a full all 12 card set. We have Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. This is a cat dressed as a woman doing chores. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So that's the full set of those. Then you have more of the bonnet children right here. No, they can they can still do ten dollar increments. I don't okay. care. There you go. Because it's already it's at fourteen forty four. Yep. Okay, so we're at fourteen forty four with Greg. Like I said, I personally think this is all Red Riding Hood series right here. Pretty awesome. So there's six cards in that Red Riding Hood series. Those are dated nineteen oh six also. <laughs> Tuesday, Thursday, and then here's more of the Busy Bears Learning Phonetic Spelling. Those are published by A. Austin. The Bride, this is a teddy bear. These are teddy bears. You can just tell by the way that they're made. Like actually, these are embossed. These are all 1890s to about 1915. Here is, I think this is a set. So you got... Should be what one here? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. You have the full set of all seven there. It's really rare to find them in full sets, too. Maybe I'm going to pull this down so I can show you the cards a little better. Just because this is the best postcard album I've ever owned. People who collect children, toys, teddy bears, all of the above will bid on these. Nineteen oh six, you can see there. Now these ones, I've never seen these before, but I thought they were cool. Abdul Kamad, but if you look, they're pictures of people and like images, but they equal his face when alive. So this is like a skull, but it's made up of people. Made up of people. I don't know, Greg, you're still in it. You're still top bidder at 1444. Uh-oh. Yeah, my phone is so sensitive on the sides. Here, I'll show you guys this one. I'm going to take it out and show it to you. So, look, this is a mechanical. You turn a wheel, and it changes the dates, changes the month. See here. There's the month. So it changes the day and the month. <laughs> and that one's all fully embossed. That one's 1890s. You have all the Victorian girls. You have the Cupies. Another Victorian girl. Just beautiful cards. This one has real hair. Like that is her. That is real hair. This girl's got a big rooster. Greg, Greg sold a kidney for this one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's Buster Brown. There's another of the hunting bears. Military kid. Come on, stop doing that. Hey, I'll touch the sides. There's the Buster Brown and Tig. Tig Brown. He's a real beautiful. These are all Victorian. I'll show you guys some really rare stuff in just a second. 
Like these are rare. These are all good, good cards. Exposition, 1900. Fully embossed bear. Now this one is awesome. This is a hold to light card. So you can see when you hold this up to, let me do it with this one. Okay, so this is also a hold to light. So when you hold this up, you see how you see through the moon, you see all the lights in the windows. Those are pretty rare. They're, they're this is another hold to light card. That one's really awesome. This one's another hold to light card. They're this one. Sorry. Yep, this one's a hold to light card. So those are all very rare. Awesome Heinz Pickle advertising card. A beautiful, rare Santa Claus embossed without a reindeer. He's actually got a horse and a sleigh. Here's one with a record. This one, she's got a sewn on, on shirt ordered. Now we get into some of the, uh, the cords cut here. Yep, found at a flea market. Yep, I bought this at the flea market. Why did it? Yeah, I get dark on me. Okay, so these are all turn of the century Christmas. See Santa Claus. Obviously, generally you see Santa Claus in red. When he's in other colors, he's better. But these are amazing. Like that one in the car with all the toys. Really cool, fully embossed. Like I said, this is the absolute best of the best when it comes to postcards and greeting cards and albums. Like the, a bunch of these Christmas ones are uh, clap saddle. So there he is in a blue robe, much rarer than the red robe. Here is one in red, but with Uncle Sam. Here's an Ellen clap saddle card right here. She's a very famous artist. <laughs> Hello, Flippin Ohio. On the Jack phone. Sully. Here's him in green. It's an odd color. Brown is probably the rarest. And then it's like purple and green and blue. And then red is the his normal robe, obviously. But these are exceptional cards. 1500 with Mary. Like I said, if I would have put a buy it now on this, it would have been at least two grand. I think there's doing the work. I think there's 5k plus. That's, yeah, that's my opinion. And I'm patient, so I would I would hold on to like these Christmas ones until like September or October, and put them on because you get a probably thirty to forty percent premium at that time. I mean, these are these are super 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 awesome condition. And plus, I'm trying to show them all because then I can look back on my YouTube and be like, man, I had the best collection of postcards ever at one point in time in my life. So these are all beautiful Christmas. There's green. That's exceptionally rare. Hey, Scotty. Like that one with all the uh, with him going down the chimney and the reindeer. This one's a little rough. Let me check, dragon. Embossed, there. These are GL lined, so they've got like that silver lining. Another this one's kind of cool with him making the sled. Where's your elf set, Santa?
didn't get it yet. We're at 1510 from Greg. <laughs> Very now. Um, hang on, Dragon. I'm still watching for it. It hasn't come through yet. Dragon. Wants to it's yellow. Updated, but his registration has not come through. Um, yeah, some of the other people know Dragon. I'm, I'm pretty sure. If you get less, right? I I think I've seen him in. Maybe Locker Nuts or in some of the other it's hot air balloon. We're not going to close it. Brian's going to personally count this one down when we're ready. Yeah, I'll personally count this one down. So. By far the best thing I've I've seen in a long time as far as albums go. Yeah, they're better in person than I'm showing you because a lot of them are embossed. And I haven't even pulled them out to look at the backs, but look, that's not a red outfit. It's like yellow, the old car. And guys, what's better than Christmas? Guess what? You're going to find out. The Cracker Jack Bears are pretty awesome, too. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen them over a pirate. Unless just uh, I send invoices so you don't have to pay right away. But yeah, that's fine. We can accept a bit from us. Like these are your seven senses. Yeah. Sense of sight, sense of taste, common sense, <laughs> sense of hearing, sense of smell. Murray, Brian doesn't see the chat, only I do. And then you have the military right here. Hey, William. Another teddy bear one. And no, Murray. Look, the Hun ain't born. Zero, zero, four from Greg Lutz. Thank you, Greg. 2004. Yes, it did. And I haven't even got to the best stuff yet, guys. These are really fantastic. Like, the detail on these cards. <laughs> Beautiful. 2100 with Dragon. Brian does find some cool stuff. Usually it finds him, though. Yeah, this one I walked around and found. We set up and took in $50 at the flea market selling clothes. But I bought this. Look at this. The Bulldogs in outfits, the anamorphic Bulldogs. Unless, just resend your registration. I mean, we're accepting your bids already, but resend your registration. Make sure it's Mr. Bizelot 795 at gmail.com with no periods or spaces. This one's awesome. I'm good, William. How are you, sweetheart? 1906. Oh, he's registering, Greg. <laughs> Look at this. I'm watching for it. The Mammy and the Music. We gotta have it before then. Corn Kinks. Delicious malted flakes ready to serve. Uh, I see it's a kite going around the stilts. And here they're gambling. This one's fully embossed. Somebody did something wrong. This one's fully embossed. This one's awesome. This is the Coontown Kids. Then you get into some of the Victorian. I got it. Thank you. These are embossed as well. Those are super cute. And then you got the football ones. 
Columbia, Pennsylvania. I got you, Dragamon. I got your all your information. That one's Cornell. Nancy, why are you crying? <laughs> crying, Nancy. You'll love this album. Yep, I got it. I was watching. It takes a little bit sometimes to come. I apologize. This is a 1910 calendar card, so these are 1909 <laughs> calendar card. No, nope, but we'll double box this bad boy. <laughs> yeah, this is, trust me, I'm not going to let anything happen to this. Will not let anything happen to this. You will have to sign for this one, though. Yep, you'll have to sign for it. Embossed. Are those football ones signed by players? No. No, Scott. I don't think so. I you little bear? I don't know. They're they are handwritten. But I don't think they're signed by players. Okay. So now here, let's do Halloween. There's Ellen Clapp Saddle Halloween. Another Halloween. Halloween, here we go. Halloween hot air balloon. Halloween witch. Another clap saddle Halloween. That one's so cute with the black cat, the jack o' lantern, and the little witch. More Halloween. You have another Christmas. You okay, honey? Yeah, I just stretching my legs a little bit. Another Christmas. And then we get into ostrich, the meat of choice. Then these are like Native American. That one's really pretty. Sorry about that, Greg, but Brian posted it out on several things just to show that this is what we were having today. Look at the camera. What Greg said, he wishes I would have did the, the buy it now. I hope he has trouble betting against somebody who just showed up. Oh, yeah. I've seen I've seen less on, uh, on Storage Auction Pirates page and I think maybe over at Locker Nuts. But we've confirmed the address is correct and everything. Yep, I just said on that. 2112 from Greg. Kyle says hi, Kim. Look, the military is awesome. Hello, Kyle. 2200 from Dragon Mom. Let's. Uh, oh, this is Buster Brown. I didn't realize this was Buster Brown earlier. And Yellow Kid. Look. The old comic characters. Hey, three guys with popcorn. No, thank you. I just had the World's Fair in 1904. Wade's Adventures and Thrift Trader. Yeah, it's probably Wade's Adventures too. Oh, yeah. That's where I saw him. I saw him the other night when I was talking to Wade. But, yeah, I posted this over on my Facebook as well as on my Instagram and here because, like I said, this is way above my normal and pat made us a really cool thumbnail yeah pat did us a favor and pat also posted on his yep. community page look at the trains choo choo brag at two nine 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 two hundred ninety nine dollars <laughs> shut up brian two nine 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 oh twenty nine ninety nine okay okay i was like bargain Look at this one. I like this golden arrow front. I like your number, Greg. <laughs> I do like Greg. Greg always has these awesome numbers. There we go. Good, good jump. <laughs> Jeez, at this rate, I might have to send Greg another, another freebie. Greg, speaking of that, did you get your, your, you get your, free gift? Yes, Greg. your comic book yet? It was a secret in case he didn't get it. He knew what it was. I told him it was from my personal collection. And it was graded. Greg's a smart guy. <laughs> Pat, you're the best. So there's the Halloween, the Cracker Jack Bears in the front, all those full sets. 350 cards total in this album. There's your answer, Crispy, and he thinks it's coming today. See, you weren't supposed to tell oh. him what it was. It was a surprise. Yeah, 351 total cards.
crispy. <laughs> um, Gettysburg. I'm not so we sure at, what you've been on. We're at two thousand nine hundred and ninety-nine docking for whatever the math is to add at least ten dollars to that. <laughs> Uh, so we're at 31 with less. What I like is the fact that I was able to go over everything with the camera so that I have a memory of this apple. Like this is just, <laughs> this is beautiful. He's beautiful. The Halloween is a bomb. The Halloween are really cool. The Christmas are really awesome. But I still think I like the bears the best, like the Cracker Jack ones in the front. They're probably not the most valuable, but I just think they're neat because I like Cracker Jack stuff. Pat, are you setting up this weekend? Greg is in at 3333. <laughs> Another awesome number. <laughs> His bids are always great. It makes me work, though, because I have to think like to add that extra on to yours. <laughs> Less is out. I don't know. It never shuts, like, it never goes into sleep mode. Hold on a second, guys. We're having a technical difficulty. Gotcha. I'm back. Sorry, I'm just trying to. I like your bids, Greg. I, think I like Greg's cool. bids. It makes me know that he's actually the one bidding. But I like these. So if anybody figures these things out, let me know. With all like the uh, the other like the pictures, like that one's Napoleon, but it's a whole bunch of different scenes. No worries, Daddy. The equal Napoleon. This one's like a couple, but there's a spoon in the middle. So I just thought that was, I thought those were really unique. Okay, so let's count it down. Janine, go ahead, count it down. Yeah, I think it says Greg anyway. I actually expected this one to be between Greg or Kathy. Sure she's even in. She might have left. Yeah, Kathy might have left. <laughs> nice try, Greg. <laughs> Going twice. Okay. Let me finish this. The Cracker Jack Bears. I like this baseball one. That's awesome. Sold, sold, sold to Greg. Rock. Greg, you will love this album. I put my hand over his mouth, Greg. I will not let him do it. What? He said, don't be old juicer. Uh, <laughs> what, Kathy Bauer? Yeah. I won't beetle just Kathy Bauer. She was here already. Right. What? Yep, we're done. Sold, sold, sold. I've been waiting. Such a marvelous buy, Greg. I, this will be double boxed yep. and lots of wrap. Greg, I don't think there's a single card in there that should be under 20 bucks. Style. Um, my original estimate was four to six thousand, probably five six thousand range. After really spending time and looking at them today, I would probably say that if you take your time to do it, that's a ten thousand dollar album. 
Phil, what did you need? Uh, just more the ma magazines. I'm done with one, so. Oh, okay. Um, I'll grab you some as soon as I put up the next album. No problem, Greg. Okay, let's do something a little, a little odd. We're going to do this next. This one is the only other item that I'm going to put a starting bid of $250 on. I bought this out of the market. Um, you guys can do your research. I showed this before, so you guys had some time to know that it was coming. This is an original Woodstock made leather beaded hippie shirt. Great job, you can Greg. you can see right here. I bought this. I paid uh, what did I pay for this? Two fifty, right? Two fifty. It is signed right there. Hop a glop at Woodstock. That is his leather hand signed signature. You guys can spend a couple minutes online. I only found one like motorcycle jacket that was also made work. Doesn't look anything nearly as cool as this. So this is a $250 start. Starting it right at what I paid for it and I would eat the shipping. But I like to bring you guys cool stuff. So when I see this stuff, I think this is museum quality. Like to me, this is this is a museum quality piece, direct line to Woodstock, um, possibly made. You know, I mean, the other person said he thought it was made for one of the the musicians, like on his his biker jacket. But I'm not even going to say that because I don't know. I do know that Hopaglop was a leather manufacturer that was at Woodstock and made stuff for people there. So, 250 with Scotty, 275 with Greg. Okay, let me grab. Three, three, three with Scotty. Pam's gonna take over for a second. Oh, I grab some magazines for Phil. I'm gonna take over and do what? <laughs> do they make that into extra large, and does it have an attached hoodie? No, Pat. I'm sorry, they don't put a hoodie on this. Ryan said you're lucky they wore clothes back then at Woodstock. <laughs> what size is it? Let me check. Ryan, does it have a size? Whoa. Medium. It is a size medium. It says M in a circle here. Let's So I'm going to go with medium. <laughs> hey, turtle. 350 with Greg. 377 with Scotty. Yeah, it's not as small. Uh, what does the back look like? Hang on, Tommy. There's the back. It has the same beading. <laughs> Three ninety with Greg. Four hundred one with Scotty. <laughs> Definitely, Nancy, I agree.
Scotty. <laughs> I think we might have lost Brian. It is a stiffy shirt. Yes, it is. Yes, it's very stiff. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> I have to find some magazines. Hey, you want your mic back here? Sure. Maybe they like hearing you. <laughs> Uh, I think somebody typed no. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I need to talk. I was talking to your boobie. Hello. Hello. No, don't talk to my boob. Why? If it talks back to me, then we got a problem. Mm -hmm. Don't tease me, Nancy. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm back. 401 with Scotty. Oh, we're at 444 with Greg Lust. And I'll tell you guys the big secret for this. I bought this from my mother. Or from? For, from my mother. She had priced it at three fifty. She's like, she's like, but you're my son. She's like, I paid a hundred dollars for this. You can have it for a hundred dollars. I was like, no. I was like, I would pay two fifty for this from anybody I saw it here. So you take the money. This is business. It's not family stuff. I was like, trust me. If I get three thousand dollars from some museum for this, I ain't giving you no extra money. Scotty is out to Greg MC. We're at four four four. Right, we're at four forty four. So we were looking for four fifty four. Just think about it. Look at all these beads. You could be you could be the next Davy Crockett or Daniel Boone. That's what it reminds me of. But whoever wins this, if you find a picture of Janice Joplin wearing this or Jimi Hendrix wearing this. So I know that I owned something at one point in time that was for somebody amazing. <laughs> I don't care that you get it and you find that out and it's worth $50,000. I don't care. I want you to make a ton of money. I just want to see a picture of them wearing it. I can't believe not after this one. Carolyn, trust me, if my mom wants money, she just asks. If I have it, I do it. Last call, count it down, Janine. Go ahead and count it down, Janine. Greg's the only one here. I told you guys it's going to bring the heat. And I, I want to personally say thank you to everybody who's here. Like, you guys. I, my family, Pam, Kim, the employees, on behalf of all of them, I want to thank you guys because you guys are definitely helping us get the house and also the money that we make here at the auction. We reinvest into more stuff to sell to you guys. So it's because of you that we can bring these type of items. So we definitely want to give you guys a big thanks. It's because of you that I can pay Pam at the end of the week. So she definitely thanks you. Yes, Nancy, his whole family sells. Yep. They all sell different stuff. Yep, my mom is a textile dealer. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Greg Lusk. My sister does, like, she's not supposed to be selling and buying, but she does. There's a lot of, like, vintage jewelry and textile alley stuff. With my they both pretty much, well, my mom loves ephemera, like the really cutesy, girly stuff. Okay, is that sold? Is it sold to Greg Lusk? Sold to Greg Lusk. Okay. You know what? Greg, Good job, Greg. Greg mentions this, so let's do it. Hank Aaron. Um, if you guys were here when we did the baseballs not too long ago, these all come from the same collection. We've just been buying what the guy brings. 
Uh, he's selling it in little sections. I guess he's afraid that if he gets all the money at one time that he'll spend it. So he's been selling it to one of my pickers, and my picker brings it to me and makes his markup, and then I buy it, and then I sell it to you guys. It is authentic. We guarantee it. I stand behind these autographs 100%. If you send it into JSA, they do not confirm that it is real. I will refund your money in full. Paid JSA to get it authenticated. All you got to do is show me the letter from JSA and send it back. So this one is Hank Aaron. Not a great signature. It's kind of got a rub up here at the top. I mean, Hank Aaron signatures are always awesome, and it's a good, it's a valuable signature. But if you send it into JSA, they'll give you the authentication. You can double or triple your money based off of what I've sold the other balls for here. Brian's mom sells. Yes, Nancy. Yep. Yep. They have That's a little, she's at a little antique co-op in Myrtle Beach area, Conway, South Carolina. So Hank Aaron, my dad used to be a live auctioneer, like a, a real live auctioneer. When I was a kid, we used to own an auction house. So $20 start. Oh, $25 start, whatever. It's going to get there. We all know it is. And I stand behind the autographs 100%. Oh, sorry. Okay, so we have 25 with Mr. Hot Wheels. Oh, short on size goes there. Yeah, Cat, I've been doing this my whole life. Oh, maybe I have a Willie Mays ball. I don't know. Oh, yeah. His mom's definitely a hustler. Yeah, she's, what is mom, 74? And that woman will outwork me every day of the week. I might be physically stronger than she is, but outworks me every day of the week. She's just got more energy. That's awesome, Nandy. That's Nancy. <laughs> Yeah, Nandy. I'm, I'm reading everything <laughs> and talking at the same time. Woo. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, my uh, my parents owned a restaurant for a while, and then they owned an antique furniture store in Asheboro, North Carolina for a long time. My dad owned a pawn shop and did coins and gold and silver um, when I was like two or three. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not seeing any sports people here today, Janine. So we are at 30 with Style Up the World. This is a Hank Aaron ball, signed by Hank Aaron. Craig has no sound. 40 with Bridal. There you go. Oh, that's awesome, Short. Forty-five with Jack. Hey, Jack. Hey, Jack. Where you been? You missed out on all the fun. No, he was here. Oh, was he? Okay. Yep. Fifty with Mr. Hot Wheels. So at fifty with Mr. Hot Wheels. Verizon came in just a second late. So next bid would be fifty-five dollars. Five dollar increments above fifty, and you must be registered to bid. Oh, style up. That's awesome. Barbies are good. Like early Barbies can be good. Pat D's in at 75. Hey, Pat. And if you got any like Maria Sanchez pottery, that's really good. Or early like Roseville, Weller, um, Newcomb College. Some of that stuff is awesome. VK, at the bottom of the screen, you'll see a yellow ticker going across. It gives you my email address. You will send me your real name your YouTube name of VT on, VK on Comics, your mailing address, and your PayPal email address so that we can send you invoices. 85 with Jack. And then enough, we actually Google search the address to make sure. And once we give you a wrench and then you can buy. 
Card Guy Rob, this does not have a COA with it. Um, I guarantee it personally. Just because I know the collection it came out of, we sold some Mano Balls, DiMaggio Balls the other day, or two, three weeks ago? Three weeks ago. And I know, I know the DiMaggio Ball had already got sent into JSA and already came back. I think it might have been a month ago we sold those. They're from the same collection. I stand behind these 100%. All the autograph balls today all came from the same collection. If you send it off to Jimmy Spence or PSA and they do not authenticate it as done by them, I'm not talking team sign balls. I'm talking like if this Hank Aaron signature is not in Hank's hand, I will refund your money and refund your JSA authentication. I just don't take the time to do it. Um, I probably could because Jimmy's, you know, two hours from me. Let me check. So Hank Aaron on this one. And here's the ball. Like I said, this isn't as nice of a signature as like the Ted Williams ones that we've had. We've had just because there's a smudge on the H. Like you can just see like a fingerprint there. But it has his loop, everything else. Age appropriate ball. The guy's collection that these are coming from, I believe he was a dealer at shows. Um, and then the guy that I buy from has been buying from him for the last eight months or a year. They actually had a DiMaggio Monroe signed ball that got bought buying the first load I bought from him. And that ball, I believe, is on its way to Heritage right now. No, Leslie, we did not. But I stand behind all my stuff. It's at the bottom of the screen. There you go. Yep. Comment. Yep. It's Mr. Bizalot795 at gmail.com. Jeez, we don't have sports buyers here. I don't know if I can. For 125. Hang on, Janine. We got some people trying to register. Oh, nice, Pat. Who has a 4,000 square foot warehouse? Where did you see that at? Nancy. Oh. Nancy made a comment about a 4,000 square foot warehouse. I got excited. I'm sitting here trying to figure out if I can. So we have Leslie's. Leslie S, I got it. So Leslie, you have it. VK, it's at the bottom of the screen. It's M-R-B-U-Y-S-A-L-O-T-795 at gmail.com. I'm actually not over at the computer. There we go. And VK, you'll need to you need to email me the address you use for PayPal so that I can invoice you if you win anything. Since we send invoices in state payment, just because I have a lot of repeat customers. Thanks, Janine. You're the best. Not yet, Todd. Nancy, you have to email me and tell me about this this four thousand square foot warehouse of whatever.
Okay, so they saw that too. Okay. Okay, we got it. So you are registered, VK. You are welcome to bid. Go ahead and start counting it down, Mama G. Or Mama G. Janine. Where is Mama G? Wasn't she here earlier? No. I thought I saw her too. Go ahead and start counting it down. You want to bid? Get your bids in. Yep, yeah, you have a wrench. You can bid, BK. But you have to do it before Janine counts it out. <laughs> she said foofed. Has anybody seen Tammy lately? I thought she was here earlier. I thought I saw her avatar. I don't know. I look over here quick, and if you're going to bid VK, you need to do so quickly. What's the baseball it's on? Okay. Here's the baseball it was on, just to show you. But this one is sold. Okay. So there's that ball. Todd Miller. Thank you, Todd. Okay, let's do you guys want to do a comic lot? Let's do a comic lot. We haven't done a comic lot yet. I have some more albums for you guys. I have some more obviously we're gonna do uh I have some sports cards. We have a this is gonna be coming up very soon. This is an original 1986. The centering is off top to bottom. But other than that, this is a really, really nice looking Jordan rookie card sticker. So let's do some comics. Um, I don't look through these comics, so you never know what's going to be in here. I have about 300 long boxes, including a bunch of Bronze Age through Modern, um, a bunch of Silver Age. So whatever's in here is in here. Going to put 50 books on this tray. You're bidding on the 50 books, $10 start. Shipping is included in the U.S. These look a little more modern. This one obviously comes with probably a preview copy, special limited edition of Wildstorm. So there's one, two, No keys today. Not that I know of. I haven't looked through. The first collection of 200 long boxes I bought are all Bronze Age and Silver Age. And there are keys in there, but no super keys, like no Hulk 181 or Spider-Man 129. But there is first appearances of other characters. Uh, I'll probably do it in a couple lots. Another Fantastic Four. This one has a poster or something like that in it. Polybag, one of six different Marvel Action Hour acetate prints is inside. Same with this, still sealed in the bag. Iron Man. Iron Man, Marvel Action Hour. These are all old stock. Midnight Suns, Darkhold, bonus poster in each issue. Here's the poster for this one. It's on the package. Hologram cover of Spider-Man number 26. Yeah, we don't cherry pick the keys. Yeah, I, I decided a long time ago, I only the only keys that I know where they're at are the graded stuff that I've been buying for myself. Other than that, I don't mess with the other stuff in the boxes because there's so many keys that weren't keys six months ago. To keep up with it and run my business, I just can't. Same with variant covers. Like, yeah. Just so you guys know, Brian's doesn't see the chat. Only I see it. Yep, I don't see the chat. We're at 30 with Horizon. We're at, we're at 35 with... Like I bought an Avengers 57 that's sitting in the office in a 9.4 or no, 9.6 grade. 
you know, stuff like that I'm buying for myself. But these I don't take the time to go through because then you got to send it in to get it graded and then you got to figure out who's and what. All that stuff takes time. The one thing Mr. Buys a Lot does not have a lot of is time. Hey, Kyle Oman. This one's in rougher shape. Judge Dredd. Ice Age Magic. Is it Magic the Gathering? Oh, look, there's cards. Look, there's a Magic the Gathering card of Bone Shaman. 50 with a Rise Impact? So that one has a card inside. Ooh, did, did they all come with that same card? This one has a card inside. Yep, Bone Shaman. There's another one. Dark Horse Comics, number nine, Insider. Looks like the mask on the front. These have a little ripple to them. Not as nice as most of the ones that we bring up. Shaman's Tears. Alpha Flight. I don't even see what's in the boxes until I put it on the table. And I do that on purpose. Hulk Power Pack. Printed in Canada. There's three of them in here. Not sure what that is. I don't know if that's a graphic novel or a comic. Gauntlet, Chemical Factor, this one looks more undergroundish. Big Thing, The One Shot. Grab another little handful over here just to make this two stacks even. And then I'll give you guys a count. Bronze Age, Gem, Son of Saturn, Sludge. This one's in a baggie. Marvel Action Hour. Justice, the Justice Machine, Kushkins. I remember Kush balls. That's what these are, right? Remember those, like the balls with all like the. Yeah, Kush balls. Yep. Bat Babe, the Flash. This is a creepy cover. I don't know. Ask her. Honey, why are, you Sorry. why are you taking Pam's packing boxes for tomorrow? Are you tomorrow? Yeah, I'll probably need those tomorrow. I don't have any of those left. 18, 19, 20, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. I'm not going to count this one because it's rough. So there's 29 on this side. There's two I didn't count, but 29. 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. VR Troopers. I think that was a TV show. 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. You get a couple more than 50. 51, 52, 53, 54. So 54 books in this lot. Yeah, you never know. Whatever box I bring over here, I'm just bringing over short boxes right now. One box might be modern or independent, and then the next one might be all Silver Age. Horizon is out. So 54 books in this lot. So I have 60 with style up. <laughs> 65 with VK. And shipping is included in the U.S. So there is no extra shipping charge or anything like that. It's included. We have 70 with style up. 
NP is out. Thank you, NP. I'm still wondering what was in that lot that uh, they bought the other day for like 350 a 300 the comic lot. We have Jack in at 75. Next bid would be 80. We're looking for 80. We are at 80 with style up. Looking for 85. No, David Johnson, you did not miss the Jordan sticker. But make sure if you do want to bid on it, you need to send in a registration for me if you could. So we have night. We have VK in at eighty five. We have style up in at ninety. Jack is out. Thank you for your bids, Jack. So right, ninety was still up. Um, finish between six and six thirty. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so sorry. Mm -hmm. Guess I'll bring home my invoices and do them from home. That's fine. Or you can end on time and do them here. Pick your choice. <laughs> So we're at 90 with style up. Uh, right. VK, we, uh, we count down yeah. whenever there's only two. So right now it's just you and style up. So as soon as one of you say out, the other one gets the countdown. That allows us to deal with lag issues. So we are at 90 with style up. And I usually give it about 30 seconds between bids. If there's no other bid in 30 seconds, I have Janine do the countdown. Okay, so go ahead and start counting it down, Janine. Going once. It's been over 30 seconds. Nope, 95 with VK. And sometimes if I'm in a hurry, we just, if one of the two of you say out and there's nobody else lurking and waiting to bid, we just award it to the other person. So go ahead and start counting it down, Janine, for VK, because Style said they're out. That way we don't wait that extra 30 seconds. Go in twice. Okay, VK on comics for 95. And I will have to check out your uh, your Instagram, VK. Sold, sold, sold. Yes, sold, sold, sold. Okay. Okay, let's do, I'm going to do some baseball cards, a little lot. These are old stock, so they are gradable. I, I bought a of old stock 1947 Bond bread cards, so they have their blank back because they came in a loaf of bread. These are the square corner, not the rounded corner. The rounded corner are actually rarer, but these are original 1947 we guarantee them to be authentic. So there are lots of Hall of Famers. That's Harry Breacher, who well Blackwell. And you can see the condition is literally old stock. There was a find of these back in the early 80s. And these are part of that find that was found back then. Most of it got eaten up into the into collectors, but Bob Elliott, oh, there's two Bob Elliott, and 
Good old Johnny Pesky. So these are from 1947. Ken Keltner. You can see the condition. There's Tommy Holmes. Not to be confused with Johnny Holmes. Both of them have a bat and swing it around, but different professions. Got Aaron Robinson. Yeah, good old Dale Enos. In the collection I got, there was no Jackie Robinsons. I guess there was two series, like Series 1 and Series 2. These seem to all be Series 2 players. It's Andy Pafco. Hall of Famer. Another Hall of Famer, Ralph Kiner. Then it was weird. They actually did a couple boxing cards. Primo Carrera. Car Carni Carnera. All right, it's Dustin. You have good old Joe Lewis. And then here is this one has a little bit of staining in the front, so it's not perfect. What brand are they? Sorry, I messed up. Ted Williams. They're 1947 Bond Bread. And another Ted Williams. This one's got a little stain line across here. So that's what you got in this lot. There are two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen cards. Two Ted Williams, a Joe Lewis, Primo Canera, Ralph Kiner, Del Enos, Andy Pafco, lots of Hall of Famers, jo Johnny Pasco, or Pesky, sorry. So that's what you get in the slot. And they are pretty much all gradable with the exception, like the, the two Ted Williams have a, that little staining on them. But they are 1947. January should be registered. Oh, okay. January, you, you have a wrench now. So we have 40 with Style Up the World. And they're all in super condition. Like I said, these were from the original 80s find whenever the Bond Bread factory, um, there was some boxes, some original cases found back in like 81 or 82. We got 56 with Steve Olani. We'd need 61 Ghost Pirates. Yep, 61 would be the next bid. There's 15 cards, two Ted Williams, one Joe Lewis, one Andy Pafko, one Johnny Pesky, right. one Ralph Kiner. There we go. So 64, next bid would be 69. 69. Eight, we're at 69 would be the next bid. Yep, 69. So 15 cards for under $5 a card. No creasing, no chunks, chips, tears. Evil in at 70. The corner is actually pretty nice. So we have 70, looking for 75.
went into Beetlejuice Greg Lusk. I'm going to do something crazy next, guys. Crazy. Yep, yeah, I'm going to do something crazy next. Those is out. Money is out. And if you guys watch this, the channel, you'll see that uh, we bought a truckload of sports cards last Friday that included these 1947 bond bread cards. What year are these from? 1947. Ten angles in that eight. Eighty five with Mr. Hot Wheels. Ninety with Ken. And these are the square corners. I made square and rounded corners. Rounded corners are a little rare. Hi, Marilyn. Hey, Marilyn. So Mr. Hot Wheels in at 100. Looking for 110 would be the next bid. There are two Ted Williams, one Joe Lewis, one Andy Pafko, one Ralph Kleiner, two of Bob, what's his name? Bob Elliott. Couldn't remember. Getting old. <laughs> Hi, Donna. Donatella, you guys don't know Donatella Bottolino. She does auctions with T from Auctions for You. I did. You can give them a wrench. Yes, David Johnson, we got your wrench coming to you right now. You are able to bid. Welcome to the auctions. Donna, I'm going to try to do a third challenge that doesn't allow me to buy anything for 30 days that I haven't already pre-discussed. So the big 200,000 piece or 100,000 piece clothing deal is still able to be bought or there's a big TV guide deal I was offered that is part of those two items. But I think I might take a 30-day challenge of me not buying anything for 30 days. We'll see. Uh, Bobby Doerr. I don't even know if they made a Bobby Doerr in this 47 bomb bread cards. Sold, sold, sold to Mr. Hot Wheels. Congratulations, Mr. Hot Wheels, for $100. Okay, guys. Look, I'm going to do something crazy. I don't know where Greg Lusk went to, but Pat D's, hopefully you're still here. Crispy's Toys, hopefully you're still here. This is an original 1986 Michael Jordan sticker. This needs to get graded. I would send this into PSA as soon as they open back up. The only reason I am selling this is because of the centering on this one. If you guys watched the video from Friday, there's two rookie cards, and there's four of these stickers that I bought. I paid over $11,000 for them. Hey, Donna. So this one is not going to be sent in to get graded because it's 300 bucks a card right now. Um, if I wait until, I believe, July 1st, they're opening back up the other services. But I figured you guys deserve something awesome, so here it goes. We're going to start this at dollars, which is insane. This card could be ripped in half and still be worth more than 25 bucks. 
a PSA 10 of this card has sold for over a hundred thousand dollars. So what makes this one not mint is because of the the centering. The centering is bad on this card in the top to bottom range. And left to right, it is probably 60-40 or 65-35. But corners are real beautiful. See, the corners are real nice. And what's really nice about this one, no gum stain residue on the back. which is really unusual. There's no stain. So $25 start. Do your research. I'm going to let this one go for a, little, a few minutes at least. It is an original 1986 Fleer basketball Michael Jordan rookie sticker. Hey guys, also a heads up, I need you to pay your invoices from last week so you can keep bidding, okay? Yep, Pam said, please make sure you guys pay your invoices so that we please can ship your you. items or at least communicate with us as to paying. why you're not paying. I think there's only two people, but, or three people maybe. Kathy in at 500. So, I mean, you can see the corners are real, real sharp. I plan to send the other three stickers in for grading. Todd Miller at 577. I have a $8,500 offer currently for one sticker and one rookie card. And he wants them ungraded, but I'm not sure I can do that because I think he wants the best card and the best sticker. And I told him if he paid what I paid for everything for $11,500, I would give him the best card and the best sticker. But I think that the card might get a nine. And if it does, it's a $25,000 card. And the sticker, the best sticker might be a nine also. And that would be a big money card as well. So I'm going to send them in and get them graded. Good. But the real key on these, on the stickers, is always the residue on the back. This one's really nice. Told you guys I'd bring you crazy stuff today. No, Donna, I don't think this is the one he showed you when you came here. Oh, no, Donna, you saw the uh, the PSA graded 8 that I bought. I paid 10300 for that card. And that's sitting... In with my others. Dial up. We send invoices Thursday evening or yep. Friday morning. Invoice. And if you pay tonight, Pam will work on shipping your items tomorrow. Yes, I'll be in early. And over the weekend, we may ship out a little bit of stuff, but Monday is generally the other day that all the shipping goes out. That way we're done before next week's auctions. Donatella Bottolino, since you are here, do you have an auction tonight? If you do, you need to let us know what time. And is it on auctions for you, or is it on Donatella Bottolino? 10 in at 700. So if you guys need to see anything specific on the card, let me know. I remember when you send these in to PSA, you should leave them in these holders. Lenny, let Janine handle any time out. Yes. Please, please, please. The only person know. doing modding should be Janine or us. You can click on it. Because if they delete it before I can see it, I can't block the person if it's somebody that's just here to cause issues. I don't know, Janine. It's not letting me click on it. Oh. Oh, yeah.
Oh, okay. See that evil any? <laughs> Mistakes do happen, guys. It's all good. Yep. Just when he comes back in, and just. <laughs> But super nice. This card's beautiful. Even the image is real nice and clear. We're at 750 with 10. If this would have been a little better centered down and over just a tiny bit, this would be a really good contender for a 9. I think this is probably going to get... If it doesn't get an 8 OC... It'll get a seven because of the it's all good, Lenny. Because of the centering. And I don't see the purple effect. I did not. It's nine T's. It's her birthday. It's her birthday. She's going to party like it's her birthday. We should drive out there with slushies. If you do that, let me know how that goes. Yeah. Here I come, T. Margarita slushies. So, original Michael Jordan rookie uh, in sports cards right after or right before basketball season starts up again. This card will go up in value again. That's all basketball cards to do. It seems to run in trends. So just a beautiful... I said the only reason I'm not sending this one off to get graded is just because of the centering. I'm going to send the other five cards off probably this weekend or early next week. We're at 760 with Mr. Hot Wheels. So if you're a collector or you have somebody that you're looking for a good gift, you can't get any better than a Jordan Rookie Year sticker. There's a little bit of dust on the back of the sleeve. Seven seventy with ten. What's funny is I missed eight unopened packs of eighty six, eighty seven Flair from the guy that these cards came from. The person that wins this card can send it to PSA. Yep. Yeah, I'm going to send my others in to PSA probably next week. Probably Monday. I'll see if I can get them to do it on Monday. But I have to pay for Super Express. $300 a card. <laughs> Mr. Hot Wheels in at 780 Is out. I think Rob should be back by now. Rob, Evil Lenny would like to apologize to you for his. Oh uh, yeah, his his kid accidentally hit the button. Last call. Oh, it's a beautiful card. I'm hoping one of those cards comes back at 10. If one of my stickers comes back at 10, I'm going to be super happy. And if one of the Jordan rookies come back at 9, I'll be super happy about that too. Because I'll keep the 9 and sell the 8s.
So let's go twice. Sold, sold, sold to Mr. Hot Wheels for 780. Congratulations, Mr. Hot Wheels. That's an awesome card. I love bringing that stuff to you guys. Okay, let's see what we have next for you guys. This album might be. Uh, let me grab. One of these albums right here. You guys want some more autographed balls? Do you want me to do another comic lot? Do you want me to do another album? I'm trying to find an album that's. Okay, you're still here. I know we lost Greg Lusk, and this is going to be a great album. Okay, so here's a great album for you guys. So we sold one earlier for no, no more Halloween. Sorry. Yeah, no more Halloween. That was that was it. I don't get those that often. Envelopes, I can get up those. Those are up there. I'll do those next. Thank you, Mr. Hot Wheels. Thank you. I'm very happy. It's an awesome buy. Once I get the other cards graded back, you guys will see what they come back as. I'll do a video on it. So here you guys go. These are 1830s fashion. Then here are more of the early cards. Nursery jingles. This is a cloth book from 1910. This is a large advertising trade card. Advertising trade card. Wilson Spice Company. So these are all trade cards. Hopefully Greg Lusk makes it back in or Kathy Bowers here. Wilson Spice. Nancy's here. Oh, Nancy's here? Hi, Nancy. Dr. Thomas Electrical Oil, another advertising trade card. This album is so full of stuff. It's incredible. TNT, are they here? Old Country Songs from White Sewing Machine Book. This is 1890s. Mail Pouch, uh, Chewing Tobacco. Thomas is here. There we go. We got peoples. Yep, we got peoples. We got 113 peoples. Sewing machines. Singer. Singer sewing machines. So these are all large advertising trade cards. And then you have, look at this. I've got to, got to do it. You know what that is, everybody? That's my peacock, cock, cock. It's a peacock, cock. Peacock, cock, cock. It's a peacock, cock. Favorite coffee? Style. Up. Style. Mary. Sorry, we're running through all of you. We're trying to beetle just everybody. Here's a couple more of those early 1800s, 1850s um, things here. But look, look at the die cuts. And this guy's store went out of business. He had awesome stuff. More die cuts on the back there. Here's more of the fashion illustrations. So here's more of those. Who bought the first load of these? Kathy bought these, right? Kathy Bauer bought them. Yep. Here's more fashion. More fashion, Philadelphia fashion, French fashion. These are all 1830s, 1840s, 1850s. All from Mrs. and Children, 1902. Hand tinted ones, 1902. 1861. March of 1861. 1875 with Thomas. July of 1861. So these are through the months of 1861. These are awesome. Lots of people here for I feel kind of bad that I didn't tell my mom about these. Well, I didn't look at them until today, but still. 
So these are all fashion, hand colored. It's a beautiful. Then you have like a beach scene real photo. Everybody wearing their swimsuits. Then you have Selma, Selma Hess publisher, Stag or Red Deer. This is a nice die cut. This is all cut out here, 1917. Okay, Pam's got to pee if you guys didn't hear. Look at this. Cupid's message, but look at how die cut and how intricate all this is. It's like five layers thick of different die cutting. Beautiful image there. And then you get into a nice early letter from 1863. Hearst and Maggie wholesale druggist with beautiful billhead. You have this awesome, like probably the back of it probably has advertising on it. Victor's Bicycles for 1894. Cut. It's an engraving. Another engraving. And if there's more than one in some of these, like more than two, I won't know it because I really haven't dug through them. Another, this is 1860s, 1870s. These are probably turn of the century era. Like you can see, he had 35 bucks just on that one. So these are like calendar toppers. Look at the little boy with the football. You get the black eye. Hail to the victor. A really good seed catalog from 1889. It's the whole thing. There's a couple pages there. Seed catalog. In the back here is some stocks. Certificates for John Bourne. This is a uh, like a broadside. So this is probably 1870s, in my guess. Beautiful parrot. This is again 1850s, 1860s. Kalamazoo Stove Company. This is from. I'm not sure what year. This is probably in like 1910, 1920. 1904. Spindale Childers. Uh, this is Atlantic City. Dawson's Dancing Dolls on the Great Children Carnival Million Dollar Pier, Atlantic City. That's 1910. A little fold out of images. Million Dollar Pier. So this is a handbill. Baseball scoreboard. Athletic games play by play and scores of all other National and American League games by innings. Wires. Motion pictures, roller skating, bulls, hippodrome, dancing. That's really awesome. Nice geisha girls with a inlaid screen, more geisha girls. Anything early Chinese is doing really well right now. Yeah. More Chinese or Japanese. Those are probably 1890. The United States of America. Um, wow. Yeah, this is for Oriental right here. But you see all the tattoos on this guy? You put this in as Chinese, Japanese tattooed man in diaper or whatever that traditional. This will do amazing. Like, amazing. This looks like 1940s. And then you go back older, 1920s, 1910, more of the Oriental. Lots of the Oriental. That's really good. Copyright 1910, Jane Knowles hair. Beautiful. This is embossed and everything. Let's see. I'll show that one to you guys. Look, she's embossed. 1910. $444 When you said the number, but no name yet, I was like, yeah, yeah, I never thought it was Thomas likes Greg's numbers. Look at the little boy. It's in the background, naked, swimming. It's funny. Now I've got you. And then, or the Oriental.
Cool. Look at this one. Stanley cutting his way through the dark continent. A Ville Litho, copyright 1889. 1889. 482 with dragon. A queen, and then I'm not sure who he is. Mary Pickford, member of the Roosevelt Appreciation League. The Gloomy Thick Wood by Kay Nelson. This is cool. The Gloomy Thick Wood by Kay Nelson. Really art deco tip in right there. Piano Forts, this is probably 1870s, 1880s. Transferred inheritance tax. Some nice letterhead. J.P. Jones, 1915. Frank Libby, no date. There's a bunch of it in here too. Like there's this one page probably has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Hoffman Brothers and Wilson crushed limestone. Trying to see if we can see a year. 1928, 1929, Rudy's Garage. Lumber from 1928. Nice letterhead, billhead. Glen Gary, Shell and Brick, 1929. They're still around today. Some Norman Rockwell prints, 60s or 70s. And then back to Victorian era, die cut, best wishes, best wishes of your teacher. 1929, and then you get into more advertising trade cards here. These are probably all from like coffee or oh, they were in a scrapbook. You can just tell. You mean I was going backwards in this? Got die cut doggies, stacks of die cuts in these little sleeves, more die cut animals, more die cuts. Lots more animals. Then you have this one's for Rising Sun Stove Polish. Mrs. Murphy, didn't I did I not tell you to use in the Rising Sun Polish to keep out the goat? <laughs> for five fifty five. Oh. Die cut horse. Ooh, these are awesome. I was like, what? These look like Oriental postcards, but early, like block print. Obviously, I can't read any of this, but definitely early block print Oriental postcards. Those could be major, major good. More die cuts here, there. This one with the big guy's head. That one with the rooster. Got more Oriental, more die cut cats, more Oriental postcards. Then you go back into 1870s, 1880s die cut little cards, some postcards, hoods, pills, cure, liver, eels. So advertising trade card, and then you got postcards. This one's really cool. This is Sweet Home Soap, is what it says. Then you got more postcards here. 1908, fully embossed. There's a bunch of these that are embossed. What's the one? The colorful sports are ice hockey. Some more postcards. I have no clue. This is a cool Tonka truck, but a monkey sitting on a chair. Pam, I found a postcard of Dave right here. Humpty Dumpty. Mm -hmm. I guess I'm shaped more like Humpty Dumpty than Dave is. Hey. Sorry. See if you get paid this week. <laughs> Embossed. <laughs> 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 
more embossed cards. This book is full. There's a ton of stuff in here. Look, birth control. Don't worry, Skylar. Is birth control right for you? So look, there's a lot of these. Birth control. Hey, look, do you think if I give this to my wife, I could say, look, I got this instead of a vasectomy? Dragon. More die cuts. Mediterranean Cruise, 1925. The SS Cynthia, 1925. Mentholium, sunburn and colds. Got a cool football image on it and sledders. People at the beach, living pictures inside. Here's coal mining. That one's really cool. Every dog has its day. A fireworks card, so it's a 4th of July card. This one's got like real flowery leaves and stuff in it. Yeah, we're still going. Velveeta cheese. You got air conditioning for American Santa Claus. Real photo postcard. Another real photo postcard. She is not happy. Little wiener dogs. And then you have more of the vintage like trade card type stuff, Dr. Hols Holzheimer and Shaw Dry Goods Cloaks Millinery from Amsterdam, New York. New England's oh, Cough yeah. Remedy. Westminster, it's another trade card. These are all more trade cards. This one's cute. These are really early. Ben Hewton's Coco. Portrait art, crayon portrait artist. Look at that. Dragon Mom, we would need $6.86 for the next Yep, $10 increments of where you guys are at now. More die cuts. Van, Van Hooten Coco with the Oriental. That's a really good one. $6.86. Yep, next bid would be $6.86. We need $6.86. $10 increments. All right, now we're music. $6.95. Community song sheet. Seven ten with dragon. Banquet for Quarryville High School, nineteen twenty-five. This one's all done in like uh, like silk on the inside, and then die cut paper over top of it. Have you seen Light Running, the latest domestic sewing machines? This is a cool topper for a postcard. It's all embossed. I'm not sure what that is. It's some kind of a witch. I'd like to own it, though. Celeste Home. Nice Victorian drawn card. Nice ink blotter with a cute, uh, a cute like, pinup girl on it. Marsha's Shoe Store. More cards here. Souvenir, got more die cuts, nice Easter, turn of the century Easter card. Really cute. These are all cute the die cuts, and then a couple of newer cards there. That's a full book of a lot of stuff. There's a lot in there. I'm not even going to count it. I love all these like good ladies session in the front and then all those die cuts that I showed you you guys like seven twenty with Marilyn, seven thirty with Dragon, seven 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 with Thomas. What's this album number three? Well, can't, I skip. I call the expensive one expensive one. No, okay. So we have seven thirty-seven seventy-seven with Thomas. Mm -hmm. Seven ninety with less. I think I'm going to go out there and take all their, their cones and move them down like 
I'm going to go throw them in my dumpster. Be like, why are you guys throwing your cones in my dumpster? 800 with Marilyn. We had 790 in with less. Later. We don't know much later. <laughs> oh, we only got through 11 lots so far. Yep. We're slow. Who the hell are we, Donatella? Where is Donatella, as a matter of fact? I try to play with her, and she's not even here with me. Page and T from auctions for you. I have eight ten with less. We still have a hundred and five people here. Thank you guys. Make sure that you hit that thumbs up if you could. It is always greatly appreciated. It helps the algorithm. Hey, Shriker. <laughs> Shriker, what time is T and Donna going on? Do we have a link for them? Any help? Mm -mm. Help me. <laughs> Marilyn. Six Eastern. Okay. So after us at six o'clock Eastern Standard, Donatella Bottolino and auctions for you, T will be going on. T's having her birthday auction. I wonder if I can drive out there in two hours. Hmm. No, you have to be home for dinner on time, remember? You just got your lecture like ten minutes ago. Yeah, it's okay. Thomas is out. <laughs> Thank you for your bids, Thomas. Oh, it's that was traffic time. That's awesome. <laughs> I'd probably actually miss traffic. Mm -hmm. If I left here at 4.30 to 5, I'd miss traffic because 78 won't be bad until I get close to them. I wouldn't get close to them until about 6.30. She's she's almost two hours and forty five minutes away. Seventy eight is bad. You're at five thirty. No, nah, like once this is twenty two. Yeah. Seventy eight is. You said seventy eight. Yeah, I'd go twenty two to thirty three and then take seventy eight across. Good luck. Okay, Les. It looks like you're winning. Let's count it down. We're at eight ten with. Oh wait, no, we have eight ten with Marilyn. Yep. Oh, no, less. Why did I see Marilyn? Oh, Marilyn was in at 8. Okay. 810 with less. Marilyn's out. <laughs> Marilyn is out. Thank you for your bids, Marilyn. Go ahead and call it for Dragon Less. Uh, let's call it. Guys, don't forget, on next Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, we have auctions. I have more of these type of albums. I don't know how many more. The collection is dwindling itself down pretty quickly. Mary, Mary Donna's and at 8.50. Ooh, Mary jumps in with a snipe. Before, before Janine could even start counting it. That was quick. 860 with less. If you could. What was my goal today? Right? Mm -hmm. Your first. I love these albums. So 
So we have 860 with less, looking for 870 or better. Hmm. We have 900 with Mary Pisano. And that's not, not including us. Les is out. Les gave it a hard run there. Thank you for your bids, Les. Yes, Marilyn. What? <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Sold to Mary Pisano. 900. Awesome. Okay. Thank you, Mary. I don't know what's in this one. You guys want to start bidding on it without me looking at it? Actually, my, my normal bidders probably have an advantage here because they've seen all the albums that we've done have been awesome. So so this is what's in it. I don't know. Let's open it up. Let's see. So this looks like some really early billhead. And wow, what are these like pens? Pens made of gold are from $3 to $5 each. ER Stockwell Manufacturers. This is probably 1870s, 1880s. More pens. From John Harriet of Prize Medals, Cups and Pins, Boston, Mass. These are almost like catalog, like mail away, like um, pamphlets that they mailed. Glass pins. Look, there's another one. And then we have the Phoenix Manufacturing Company, 1919. Waterproof clothing. John Lowe, 1919. So like a lot of uh, Bill Head, the Sporting Goods Man, 1920, 1919, high-grade knit goods, druggist, 1919. So this looks like a letterhead and Bill Head so far. All 1919, it seems like. Chester Suspender Company, Wagner Hardware Company, New York, Alfred Bear and Company. Bradford Clark and Company, Grocers Wine and Cigar Merchants, 1919. So it seems like these are all 1919 so far. Wolbarst, so over 100 years old, and there's multiples. Like this one here probably has eight pieces inside of the sleeve. Garbov Clothing, 1919. I'll flip through it a little bit. Young Smith Field. I really like when they do this and they put like pictures of their factories. 1919. Ooh, this one's really awesome. Or this is a couple. This is a couple pieces here. Has the cars and the delivery trucks in front of it. 1919. La ladies and men's neckwear, belts, and ruchings. I don't know what a ruching is. Rogan Brothers, 1910, 1912. These are awesome billhead. Paper mills with an awesome picture of a of a uh, factory over here. And there's a lot. Ice cream. Oh, no, milk. Milk and cream. I thought I said ice cream. Jumping ahead, I'm a fat guy. Just happens. Saw cream. Thought of ice cream. The Bannigan Rubber Company. Goodyear Brothers. Dealers in coal, wood, lime. This one's got neat pictures. Businessmen's paper press. Yep, got photos of them using the press. So these are 1912, 1912, 1920, international handkerchief manufacturers. A dozen seal packer chiefs for $1. It's pretty cool. E.K. Fraser and Son Lumber. Uh, cloth headwear, so for hats. 
ostrich and sun. One town with big sky flipper. There's a bunch of freight bills, Valley Times. This one's got a guy on it, 1913. Like this one here, this this DB Coral, dealer in wholesale confectionery and novelties. They sold candy and toys, 1913. There's a stack of probably 20 or 30 pieces in that one sleeve. Young men's clothing. I have something very Yards of Black Officer's Braid, Spool Khaki Threads. This must be for military. Out. United Shirt and Collar, B. Oster, 1912. Flip through it. United Shirt and Collar. Lamb Brothers, uniforms and clothing for wool, Army, Navy, and Home Guard uniforms. And there's a stack. Like, uh, I want to show you guys stuff like this. Look. So this one has, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve pieces in this one sleeve. So this, again, is probably 30 pieces in this sleeve or 40 pieces just by how thick it is. This is New York, Shulman Brossel, 1912. I'm not even sure what these are. Suits, longer terms than 60 days. Schloss Brossel, Schloss, Schloss Brossel. So there's probably, you know, 60 pieces right there. Carlisle Guess. 300 with style up. Sam Jacobson Milk Men's Silk and Knitted Ties. Lots of clothier. Colin Brothers. I'll flip through them a little faster for you guys. Miller Brothers hats. AK Fred's Lumber has a picture of cough drops on it. 1913. This is all about 1910 to 1920. Burns and Company, 1908, and there's a bunch, and each each one of these sleeves have multiples, not just one on the front and one on the back. There's multiples. Size out, thank you. Rush Roar. When I sell this stuff, a lot of times family members. So like S.A. Stone Road, family members that's, you know, grandfather used to own this store, buy the stuff. Mil or retail price circular. Coryville Cemetery, H.R. Hoover, Lock Haven Hospital, Harry Pressman. This one's really cool. It's got a gun. Bluing, plating, and foreign parts, life member NRA, general gunsmithing. That's really neat. That one's cool. This one's got a picture on it. Of quantity. Chas Hessen Brothers. And there's some kind of like pictures here. 1889, this one here. This one's really cute with the dog watching over the kittens and the toy doll. Cream of Wheat is ready. Nice little ad. Awesome Dragons. Those are cool. Peace Preliminaries. Dove or Peace. Hurry up to my conference, you two. Japanese Dragon. All right, we're coming. Just love to save my face. Continue to, to check the Chinese after the first Peace Conference had met. That's 1932. Ooh, look. So you have uh, Nazi... Hitler training a dog. 400 with style up. That one's kind of cool. The dog, yes, but I've been trusting such a long time. Abraham Lincoln, in early engraving. Riki Tiki, Yugoslavia, and then obviously you can see the swastika on the back of the, the snake. 
another here's Lincoln. And it looks like a another military. Real cute. I'm not sure what that's from. Edgar Allan Poe. Engraved by Wade Walker. Walter. It says supper, checkers, morning. Jesse William Smith did that one. Jesse Wilcox Smith. That's it. It's Mother's Day. Jesse Wilcox Smith. Pictures. The camel. Because it's home day. Selmar Hess, publisher, African Cobra. The flower Girl. And then family familiar flags of the 50 nations. So that's what you get in this lot. Lots of stuff. That one's cool. I just like that one. And this one says, don't tread on me. This is colonial flag, etc. That's what you get in this lot. Okay. Style up is out. Thomas is I bid at six hundred. Go ahead and start count it down. Why are you upset, Janine? What's wrong, hon? Is it because I didn't do no liquor bottles? I don't know. She said she's upset. I just asked why. Why are you upset, Janine? What would Janine like to see? Not one time have I, what, did a Hercules? I'll give you a Hercules. I know that's what she's wanting. Nope, she wants me to do a Hercules. I know it. I, I know that's what she wants. I was going to give one to Greg, but he left. I know that's what she wants. I was going to do it for Greg whenever he bought the uh, the first album for 3300 I'll, I'll do it for you, Janine. And for everybody else watching, we'll, we'll give you guys all the Hercules. Sold, sold, sold to Thomas for 600 Thomas, you want to know why you, bid, why you win with your bids? Because Hercules, 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 you're so strong. I know that's what Janine wanted. Thomas, it's 600 <laughs> That's what you want. What did I just do with that album I brought over here? That's the one in your hand. Is it the one in my hand? Yeah, it was inside the box. Oh, okay. I just want to bring up another one. Bridgeport Goring. So this is a Victorian trade card. It says to flip it over. Let's see. Should we flip it over? <laughs> Insurance certificate. Okay. Oh, this one's cute. Look, there's a baseball photo. Guy wearing a baseball uniform. His name is Shorty. <laughs> and there's a little kid on a tiny pony. Soap. Woodrow Wilson's home. Some more die cuts. Hoyt's nickel cologne. 
That's pretty neat. Perfumed with Hoyt's nickel cologne. That's awesome, Pat. I love Holly. Military. That's where my dad is. Oops. Niagara cornstarch. Oh, look at the little dog. Let me see this one. It's like a little chihuahua holding a gun. Sexy with Murray. Cute little standard sewing machine company. So these are advertising trade cards. This one's probably Arbuckle Coffee or Lion Coffee. So this one looks like postcards, and these are Arbuckle Coffee. You can see it here. So it looks like postcards and advertising trade cards. Cute little photo. Another trade card down here. Actually, I think there's two in there. Best wishes. This is an applied on top of an embossed card. Another trade card. Another trade card. Victorian era. By the Reeves Parvin and Company. Roasted coffees. Super cool. Murray, you're high bit at 60. You don't want to pick yourself up. Yep, you're good right now, Murray. More trade cards. More nice early cards. Singer Sewing Machine. Red Star Cough Cure. Cute. White Daisy Innocence. Seven new backpack treasures. <laughs> Roasted coffee down here. Some like little one of these. Oh, I want to see them. I just want to touch it. A little hatchet. And then the other one's a flag. There was some political guy that used to use an axe as his scene, the red axe. Another coffee one, I'm sure. These are really cute. Fair and square. Not sure what that is. Robert Woodridge, Baltimore, Maryland. High-grade bone superphosphate. Another nice little trade card, advertising trade card. More die-cut cards there. More trade. These probably all have advertising on the back of them. Just trying to flip through for you guys. More Victorian cards. More little Victorian cards. This one looks like it's hand painted. That's really awesome. This is a trade card, trade card, trade card. So those are all 1880s, 1870s political stag with the like Joker trade card. Lot. These albums are awesome. This one's really funny. His first pair of pants. <laughs> Has him wearing a dress, and now he's getting a first pair of pants. Look at this. This is like hand-painted or hand-done. If that's somebody famous, somebody can make bank. More trade cards. Where it's in Royal Dutch Cocoa. Nice Easter card, embossed. Thanksgiving card, embossed. Look. Let's see, forget me not. And it has this, so it moves down. Victorian era. Some more cards here. Indian Town Gap Military. Oh, that's a cute. It's a birthday card. I thought it was uh, Valentine's. Got a little Cupid in a knight's outfit, fully embossed. Effort of PA. AM lease for photograph. Miller soap labels. And when I say labels, I mean like there's, you know, there's a bunch in here. There's probably six or eight labels in there.
Miller's Soap, washing the world over, and it's got people of different nations, little kids, probably 18, let me see, no, 1902 by William Johnstone. Look, three, it just says three. It's got three kids or three people bobbing up and down. Holy Name Society, Quarterville Dance Certificate, Halloween Dance from 1927. More dance tickets, calendar for 1907, Spectres and Some with a banjo, My Century Offering, some business card here, another trade card up there. This is really awesome here. Look at this. Inviting Laura Shunk to our junior prom, and it's hand done. Really cool. Queensbury and Fourth Bridge. Lincoln Birthday Dance, 1930 at Benny's Place, Kenwood Club Orchestra. Benny's Place, 1929. You can just hit refresh if you need to. No, Janine just said that hers froze, not mine. She was asking if hers froze. I don't know. I see four likes, Janine, on my screen. Yeah, that's all I see. Yeah, if you hit refresh, it might change it. Benny's Place again, Norman Shades Orchestra, Kentucky Revelers Orchestra, Public School Dance, Young People Society Topics, and then your other trade cards there. These are like um, Victorian, they're Victorian name cards. You used to hand them out whenever you went to like events, and they were always done real beautiful. Like the lithography on them is awesome or the people with die cuts to them so that they would be fancy. Real photo postcards. That one's really cute with the red, white, and blue stars and stripes bucket and the kid in a bathing suit. That's really awesome. Cherbourg. Yeah, yeah. I'm itching to go home. That's really funny. Oh, there's a little... Oh, there's fish on the blanket. I thought it was bed bugs. It's funny. Blue Mountain House, Blue Ridge Mountains. Merry Christmas with the embossed Christmas cards. That looks like a barber's pole. Nice little angels. Post office in Nagasaki, Japan. That one's really cool. That's real early. Embossed cherubs. If that's a perfect woman, they've made a horrible mess of, of Maria. <laughs> it's funny. These are really cute. I'm not sure what these are from. If they're postcards or if they're some kind of a trade card what, or postcards. General Comics. This one here is cute, too. It's, it's a pity, Horace, that you have no creative ability. <laughs> but he made all the kids. Just giving them a hard time. It's really funny. Super cute, too. It's like Charlie Chaplin. Copyright Samuel Goldring. There's Thanksgiving greetings. Cute little doggy Valentine's card. Kyle C, are you still here? And more. Right? Embossed. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 
34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59. So 60 times 4 would be 240 minus 4, 236. So there's, let's say there's 230 plus pieces in this album. And there's way over that. There's over 250, but I counted like this as 1 instead of as 2. two 8 and 10 on those labels, I only counted as 1. So it's probably about 250 pieces. All right, see you guys. Have a good weekend. So we have 250 with Tommy S. So we have 250 with Tommy S. Hi, Tommy. Marilyn Black came in just a second afterward. Hi, Steve. We know Mary in the background. <laughs> we have Murray Zuckerman in at 278. And again, as always, guys, we definitely appreciate you guys hanging out with us. We're at 302 with Tommy S. So we have 330 with Murray. <laughs> KJ, what's up? You missed the Jordan card. I sold the uh, a Jordan rookie sticker. I sold a Hank Aaron baseball. I sold the best postcard album I've ever seen. And now we're selling some of the other awesome albums. Sold a nice lot of comic books. We're at 375 with Murray. Mary Pisano, are you still here? How about Greg Lutz? Are either one of you guys lurking in the background? We have 390 with Tommy. You're trying not to look. <laughs> oh, Mary, you're going to want to look. We're at 400 with Murray. I was debating on putting up the next piece, but you guys are doing awesome for me today, so I'm going to do awesome for you. I just saw this, and I remember buying it. This actually, the next one didn't actually come from this album collection. This one came from somewhere else. We're at 420 with Tommy S. <laughs> I promised everybody I was going to bring great stuff today. Kathy's sitting on her hands. Kathy, I should just, you know, rent a van and load it up with stuff I think you'll want, like all this palette of old photos sitting over here and a bunch of stuff and just drive it to Texas. That way I can get out of the cold for a week. <laughs> Jay, <laughs> I sold stuff because we need to sell stuff. Need to sell
Congratulations, Tommy. Drive it to Colorado. Maybe that's how I should do auctions, you guys. You think I should do just like fill my Honda Pilot with a load of stuff, and then we should just sell that whole load of stuff at a time? That would be interesting, to say the least, especially when we get into some awesome stuff like I'm going to show you right here. Okay, you can just tell this is an old, old album, right? And this is um, awesome. Let's just, I'll, I'll put it this way. I bought this maybe six months ago because of the rarity of the cards inside. And I'll show you guys. I mean, look, you're going to see the prices they had on it. Geo Smith, White River Junction. These are early calendar cards, advertising. I'll show you. It's easier to push you up close. See Blake back. What years does it say? 1885. So these were the calendar cards. Look at this bone fertilizer with this guy. 1885. William Clark. Look, 75 bucks. Hanover crackers and family boxes, especially at Geo Smith. 1885. So these are all Geo Smith. Eight by Smith's Confection. Geo Smith, he's chasing his dog in his top hat. Crump Label Company, which is very, very, very rare. 1984. You can see both different styles. This one's Williams and Clark, and that's Crump. This one here is Williams Clark, 1885 calendar cards. Then you have the black minstrel cards labels. They were neat. They had 60 bucks a piece on those. I don't remember what I paid for this album. It's pretty bad, right? Let's try to see if it's a lay year. Clay Cossack, it says on the back of it. Here he is playing a banjo. A giant pipe. These are all super early. These are all 1880s, 1870s. You can see. Look, these were 60 bucks each. These are the Pickwick character cards. Sam Weller, Miss Bardell, Landing of Columbus. These are more of the Pickwick cards. Jerry Shaver, Exchange Street, Mr. Pickwick. Now I know I look handsome because I use minor soap. <laughs> it's funny. The Fat Boy from Pickwick. The Dutch taking Holland. Early Clay Cossack. Clay Cossack must be the artist. Best smoke for five cents. Buy one. Spool cotton. That one's 1880. Hung up with a starch out. The Beacon's Mayor. I will not ask 1880. 
and that's it. So you get four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. 36 cards in this album, all early 1880s Victorian trade cards, and these are rare cards. <laughs> KJ, we always have lots more stuff. At the end of the day, it is going to good homes out of the warehouse because the warehouse, you know, doesn't really do it justice. I love having the stuff, but I like saying that I owned it for a short amount of time and that I gave it its proper home where people would do the correct things with it. So we have Marilyn in at 300. 315 with Murray, 350 with Kathy Bauer. This will be, we'll just call it album seven. Murray is at 50. Oh, I think there was a lot of bargains today. Even that book that Greg paid 30, you know, whatever it was, 3300 for, I think that's going to be a $10,000 book retail once he does the work to list those. And you can make three times your money in those kind of numbers. That's where you want to be. So Kathy in at 350 looking for any advance. We're going to give it the going once. I just thought these were awesome when I saw them. Going twice. Yeah, that album was awesome. But that's good. Like, I want you guys to make money because then you have more money and come back and buy more stuff. It's a symbiotic relationship we all have. I just want to be the supplier of merchandise to you guys. 350 with Kathy Bauer. Congratulations, Kathy. That was an awesome album. Congratulations. How about I do – I'll do another good ball for you guys, and we'll see if any of our baseball people are here. If they're not, then it's a big mistake for me to do this, but somebody else then will get an awesome buy. Again, I guarantee the signatures on the balls to be authentic. This is Ted Williams. Signature is really nice, really clean. Once I can figure out how to open it. Oh, there we go. I'll take it out and show you guys. Here's the ball itself. Real nice and clean. Here's the signature. Has his big, his eight for his T. He didn't connect the top, though. Or he did, it just wore out. Okay, his little swoopy. 
So beautiful signed Ted Williams ball. I'll let you guys bid. Told you guys I'd bring you awesome stuff. This is the best Williams and DiMaggio signed. So we have a hundred with Kyle. Hi, Jill. Welcome in. Oh, awesome, Kathy. Like, I hope everybody triples or more up on almost everything. The baseballs we sold a few weeks ago, once they get JSA'd, you know, they'll spend 100 bucks to get the better balls authenticated. But when you pay me four, you pay on sell it for 1200 That's That's all right. That's making good money. I just don't have the time to do authentication and sending everything off and waiting. I mean, especially with this whole PSA scare you know, where people are waiting eight months to get their cards back. If you're not sending in Super Express, why bother? So I have 180 with Kyle. Jill, no. There are uh, no certification. I guarantee them personally. So if you send it to JSA, I will cover the cost of grading it if it comes back not right. But I know the collection they came out from. Um, this guy's been selling balls from this collection for about oh, eight months or a year now. And there was like a DiMaggio Marilyn Monroe ball that came back and got sent to Jimmy Spence and got authenticated. There was really, really amazing stuff. There was a Babe Ruth ball. Um, so I guarantee everything. I stand behind it 100%. You send it out to get it authenticated, I'll give you back whatever you pay for the ball plus the cost of authentication if it does not come back authentic from a reputable place like JSA or PSA. So we're at 180 with Kyle Omen. And this ball is super bright, super clean. It's a good ball. And that's a really clean signature. There you go, Kyle. Yeah, the guy I'm getting these from has stood behind everything that he sells to me. So I stand behind it to you guys. Plus, I've I've sent a friend of mine that went to school with Jimmy Spence pictures of a few just to, you know, just to get the hey, it looks good from here. Um, you know, trickle down effect before I spent the big money that I spent on buying the collections. So we're at 180 with Kyle O, looking for 190 or better. This is a great ball, guys. Okay, we're gonna go going once. Going twice. Kyle, I think you're going to get a steal on this one. And I think Williams cost about $75 today.
Sold, sold, sold for 180. You'll make, once you authenticate this, Kyle, you should triple to four times your money at least. Because this signature is really, really clean. I got something else for you guys. Don't you worry. Here's a little song I wrote. You might not know it. Note for note. Don't worry. Buys a lot. Gotcha. Ooh, ah, another album. Let's see what we got. Florida engraving. Actually, there looks like there's a bunch of stuff in here. So, so look, in the first sleeve, there's a Florida engraving. I'm trying to see if there's any more than just that Florida one. New on the Toms River, Florida, Thomas Moran, Chance View, 1881, Mouth of the Pasca Tank River, 1881. So there's four of those. Well, three of those and then this one. So, But four pieces in that one sleeve. Early engravings. This is like a Penny Dreadful kind of Valentine. There's the fold over at the top so it didn't tear. Or like a Penny Dreadful or a Vinegar Valentine. The first of April. It looks like he's going golfing. Oh no, he's he's seen how long the horse takes to eat the cabbage. Is there something else in here? Oh, okay. Hunting for deer, courier and ives. This is a early Courier Knives over here. This color one right here. Playing with Pussy. I didn't say it. I just read it. Playing with Pussy. They're trying to get the cat to chase the string. The two friends. Boy and his dog. You have the monkey on the potty. I would do anything if I could get the glare to go away in this place. Garland Stoves and Ranges. Another trade card here. Look at all the cats going into the doctor with toothaches. So it's like to a dentist kitty cat. You can see here the embossed card. There's the Garland Stoves and Ranges card. Garland Stoves and Ranges. Move it over this way a little bit. Hmm. Maybe I can do this. Uh, see if I can give it just a little bit better for you guys. There. It's a little darker, but Tilt it back just a little bit. Maybe it'll brighten it up. But Garland Stoves, this is the back of that one card. Michigan Stove Company has a picture of an awesome stove. Fully embossed. Again, fully embossed. All of these really nice early Victorian cards. Embossed with like a silk cover over them. Really, really nice cards. More cards. I don't even look anymore. I just bring them to you guys. I get to see them now, though. Sunday school. Nice old cars. So-and-so was born. Eight pounds, eight and a half pounds. El Capitan, Yosemite Valley. Nicely neat. I was looking to see if it was Mark Adams on it. He did a lot of photographs back then. Nice Angels card. It's real pretty. And the postcard here. Then we go into 1929 West Floral Company. Billhead, letterhead. Eight, the Coleman 
Electric Light and Bells Steam Heat. Legion of the Moose. So give me a year, 1946 with a seal. It's kind of interesting. State Masters of Form, Patriotic Order Sons of America, 1897. 1928, plumbing, got the old pocket watch. This one here's got 1902. Orpheum Theater, these are movies, or vaudeville acts at the time. But we're reading the movies out. Embossed cards. More beautiful embossed cards with all the ducks and chickens. This one's silk covered embossed. Real photo postcard. Oh, oh, this gets so much better. Look at this. Look at all the little die cut kitty cats and doggies, animals, and there's multiples in each one. Lions, kids, animals, look at all the die cuts, all the Victorian die cuts. Wow. Look. Look at all the Victorian die cuts. And more. All the different dogs, there's a squirrel, horses. And some of these have multiple cards, multiple die cuts in them. Lots of Victorian die cuts in here. This is like embossed die cuts. Here's more in the backs. Here's a bunch. All of these Victorian die cuts there. Here's more. Made in Germany, marked on the back of some of them. Lots more Victorian die cuts all the way throughout here. That's all the small ones, and then they get bigger. Here's bigger die cuts. There's some jockeys or hunting. I'm not sure. There's dogs dressed as people die cuts. There's more die cuts all over here. Wow, there are so many die cuts in there. This is an awesome one. Look at these. Monkey Waiter. A couple more postcards and then more die cuts. More die cuts. And this awesome, like, trade card. And then more die cuts. So that's what you get in this album. Tons of die cuts. And then postcards and trade cards. Just beautiful. These look like firemen. They are firemen. You can see his hat. Oops, sorry. Okay, let's see where we're at. We're at 250 with Tommy S. So hundreds of pieces. Each one of those pages is what, 20? 20. So there's well over 100 die cuts. It's probably 200 die cuts or so. And then trade cards, postcards, letterhead. So we're at 250 with Tommy S.
260 with Maryland. What'd you guys do? Kick Dragonmon? Oh, the, up there's less. <laughs> Let's say what'd you guys do? Kick him out. Okay, so we have 260 with Marilyn Blatt first. 280 with Tommy S. 
Congratulations, Tommy. Nice album. Okay. Here's the other ball. I'll show it to you. I'm not sure if I'm going to put it up today or not. But there's the mantle. There's the DiMaggio. And there's the Williams. Mental DiMaggio Williams. Okay, here's the other album. This is a big one. Thick. I think somebody did this one. Hand drawn. It's kind of cool. Okay, so then you have the Hires Root Beer advertising card. Let me see if I can figure out a way. Actually, I'm going to use the ball. See if it will hold the album up to get rid of this reflection. That's the reflection. Crazy. Let me take this this whole box of 1960s non-sports cards and put it underneath the album. Let's see if that helps any. Those are like Beatles and stuff like that. Okay, that looks better. Better. Okay. Slide it back just a tiny bit. Rearrange the camera there. So hires root beer, die cut. Here's die cuts. Caterers and confectionaries. Caterers and confectionaries. So these are Victorian trade cards. I'll have to move it to the right a little bit. To the right. To the right. Okay, there we go. So Electra for uh, washing fabrics. Gold metal flower. So these are all 1890s, 1880s. Altman Clothiers Hats and Furniture, Curtis Davis and Company, Soap, Hood's Pills, Little Die Cut Victorian Girl. This is a great album of Victorian trade cards. The elephant's really awesome. Jumbo Reaching for Candy, Jumbo the Elephant. Ivers Pond Piano. You got German, Dutchland. This one's a sewing machine one for, let's see, domestic sewing machines. Use Rubiform for teeth. Boots and shoes. So, so far, this has all been trade cards, advertising trade cards. Another jumbo reaches to bring put in the irons. Copyright 1890. Matchless piano ports, Smith and Nixon. Jumbo's pushing here. The stove. Let me see if I can give you guys a better view. So these are all Victorian trade cards, advertising trade cards. Kathy Bauer, if you're still here, this is probably a you. Mary Pisano. Less so a machine SD organ company. So far, this whole book has been nothing but trade cards, advertising trade cards. Chess pianos that's embossed. Hoyt's German Fragrance and Colognes and Perfumes. It's a pretty rare card. 
hair renewer. That's also probably really good with all the cherubs. Stove polish. Soap. Mexican War 18. St. Louis Beef Canning Company. Hood's Vegetable Pills. Hoyt's German Cologne. Jumbo the Elephant. Universal Ringers, Acme Soap, Sewing, Diamond Dyes, this one's probably for hot, uh, Shutter Wagons. Dutch Marks, look at this awesome silver die cut for Jockey, look at this one, Sapinole, Oriental, it's 1880s, 1870s. Oh, this one's so cute. Hoyt's German Cologne perfumes. Sick for headaches. So this entire album so far has been all Victorian trade cards. French Laundry. Wilson Packing. Corned Beef. Wheat Bitters. Some, some die cut. 1917 C.I. Hooden Label Company. Pond's Extract. Take Hood's Sarsaparilla. Household Sewing Machine Company. That one's dated 1896. Reynolds Brothers Fine Shoes. These are all more... Advertising trade cards. They'll have advertising on the back of them. Galvanic Horse Salve. Amos Whitley and Company. Certain name cards. The more advertising trade cards. This one's embossed. It's really cute. Ball brand shoes. David Nicholson liquid liquid bread. So everything in this album is pre nineteen twenty that we've seen so far. Edward Tiffin. Albany Dental Association, Mr. Pickwick on wheels, so we're in roller skates, that one's embossed, mirror cornstarch, it's a bookmark, this is probably the second best album. This one and that, that other one. Estee Organs. Quaker Bitters. 
Max Milk Chocolate. So the stove polish. Another one of the Hoyt's German Cologne. Cough Drops of the Puppies. White Sewing Machine Company. And guys, we're not even halfway through this album. Upholsters. Soap Makers. And here, I'll show you guys. Ink on that one. That one's also blank. It's really like coffee and stuff. I have stuff in the back. Hood's latest. Seltzer, Niagara Corn Star, Birch, cancer right there. SD Oregon Company, Battleboro. This one, the Native American on it. RW Bell Soap. Look, uncut sheeted die cuts. Diamond dies. Just dip the kitty in it. She made the pussy red. Gerson's fine millinery. More die cuts. These are large. Look, the owls. These are German. The 1870s, 1880s. Singer sewing machine. Oops. There we go. Look at these die cuts. Right here. Oops, I touched the sides. Hang Flat Rooster. Look at the Santa Clauses. Different color robes. Four different Santa Clauses. Horse. Another horse. Piggies. Look. Look at those piggies. Pam, you're watching. There's piggies. This one just slid out of the sleeve. More advertising trade cards and die cuts. This one's really cute. The kid riding the big dog. I will give you guys a count in just a second. Cunningham Pianos. That one is for Pearlene. More die cuts. Sewing machines. More die cuts. So this whole album so far has been nothing but Trade cards and die cuts, and good die cuts. Mostly all 1870s through about 1920. The die cut monkey. 
And these are all embossed die cuts. Some more piggies. Home Sewing Machine Company, Level Tear. Make No Mistake, Domestic. Prepared seasoning and spices, more die cuts. Oh, one slid out, you can see the back. It's really cute. These are easy, easy, easy to store, easy to list, easy to ship. Could even store them back in this album, just put a label on each one. Large die cut. Look at that one, old lady holding the plate. Die cut mustard. Some of these die cuts might even be advertising on the back of them. I'm taking long enough to show you this one. So a lot of these will have advertising on the back of them. Oh, uh, look. Look at the fireman die cut. That's awesome. Look at this fireman die cut. Or military. That might be military. Look at this cat. And it looks like it stands. It looks like it folds to stand. And it looks like there's more than one in there. Look at this one. That's really early. You have Coca-Cola. Look at the metal bunnies. More piggies. This album is awesome. White's German Cologne again. More die cuts. Just because of the quantity and the quality of what's in here, this is the second best album for the day. In my opinion. The best one was the first one. But... Look at them, they're hunting. Here you can see there's multiples. Here you can see there's multiples. There's at least three. These are the only postcards we've seen so far. Everything else has been trade cards. Yep, so the back of it has some postcards. Military. More military. Willow Grove Park, Amusement Park. Amusement Park. Rides, real photo, interior of a test barn. Look at that, look at that trigger fish. Real photo postcard of a trigger fish. Look, that's huge. Palmer House in Chicago. Courthouse, PA. So then I'm going to get a count. I'm only going to count these as one, even if I, like I can see there's three of these in here. I'm still going to count it as one piece just to make up for the ones that might be missing something in the hole there. Okay. My hands start hurt there. Okay. So there should be 10 pieces per page. That's pretty much what it was down to. So I'm just going to count the pages. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there's a hundred pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, ten. There's 200 pieces. 200 pieces over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten. There's 300 pieces on this side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's 400 pieces so far, 400 pieces in this album. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. There's 500 pieces in this album, and we're not even going to count this first pieces here to fill in whatever blanks are there. So at least 500 pieces in the slide. Oh, here's this too. So at least 500. Whew. Yeah, this is this is awesome. If Greg was here, or our, where's Mary Pisano and everybody else, this is probably this is the second best album, with no doubt. Over five hundred trade cards, advertising trade cards and die cuts. I mean, not even two bucks a piece. We have Tommy in at seven hundred. Okay, we have 750 with Thomas L. Hi, Chalmain. Missed you today. We had a ton of stuff you would have loved. So we're at 750 with Thomas L. There's over 500 turn of the century Victorian die cuts and advertising trade cards in this album. We're at 810 with Tommy. So obviously, these are always better than. Just regular postcards. We're at 810 with Tommy. We're looking for 820 or better. Oh, you're welcome, Mark. And glad you could hang out with us. <laughs> No pirate, no truckload of silver. So we have 855 with Tommy. <laughs> Terry. Terry, even I buy a bunch of stuff. Heck, I go into Storage Auction Pirate and buy his stuff. I have boxes sitting here from three months ago that I haven't opened yet. $10 increments. Nice pirate. Need 11K in silver. If I had it, I'd sell it to you. So 855 with Tommy S. We're looking for 865 or better. At this point, I'm willing to sell anything, anything. Thomas L. is in at 900. This is an easy grand album, easy. And probably make, yeah, I would say I would put most of the stuff at 10 to $50 a piece. There's a few pieces in here that might go for more. But the die cuts are really awesome. Hey, Kyle. Yep, we're at 900 on this album. There's over 500 trade cards 
and die cuts, all 18, 1870s through about 1920. This is definitely the largest album we've had today. So tons and tons of die cuts and trade cards. All super early. These Jumbo the Elephant ones are really good too. And these are beautiful. In worst case scenario, five bucks a piece. But it's work. It takes work and it takes time. The one thing that we don't have, time. I really like this one. These are cute. These are good. The Oriental ones are good. So all beautiful Victorian trade cards. Everything well over 100 years old. Thousand with Thomas L. Boom. Hercules, Hercules, Hercules. Did it for Janine. <laughs> Thomas L. And, and Thomas, once you actually start looking at, like there's some of them that have more than one piece in there, there's probably... 540 or 550 pieces. But I just like the I like the under promise. I like there to be more when you get it. So we have a thousand with Thomas L. Looking for 1010 or better. 1010 with Marilyn. Marilyn had to see if if uh, Dragon Mom Les was still here. So we're looking for 1020. 1020 with Thomas L. Turtle anytime. My goal is, you know, to let you guys make money and buy stuff and help me sell stuff. Thanks, Carl. I appreciate that, my man. Once we move down south, Carl, we'll have to get together. Let's go drinking for a day. Meet somewhere in Georgia. But Marilyn in at 1,030. Two dollars a piece across the board right now. Sweet. Well, I don't know how to golf, but heck, I'm moving to Myrtle Beach area, so i got to learn. We'll go drinking and then go golfing. Even better. Rent the cart. Happy Gilmore ain't got nothing on me. At 1,050. Ought to be even more fun then. 1060. Dark. Oh. Who does that? Oh, wait, I'm at work. Never mind. Oh, Turtle. Yeah. I've got to pick up that tractor trailer in North Carolina. It's sitting near Asheboro. I'm going to go get pizza first, though. And then I got that Star Wars collection in South Carolina. We have 1100 with Thomas L. 
I'd say this is the second best, the second best album of the day. I mean, just so much stuff. Look how beautiful they are. Skoda Emulsion. Pirate, when are you and Jack coming out? You guys can come out and visit. Well, I'll go to a storage locker auction. I'll wait. I'll let you guys know when there's a big one. There was some recently, but they were sucky. There was like maybe 13 or 14 of them, like different locations. And I only saw two that I even bid on. Please say yes and be mine. This one's awesome. This page. Really cool. The fire truck, the military guys or police or whatever they are. And then these are all military. So have 11.50 with Thomas. Okay, Mike. I'll let mine go to I'll let mine go to auction one of my units. Then I'll send you pictures of it. I had to get storage units because both my warehouses are full. <laughs> so now I have a storage unit full of a sports car unit full of action figures and African art and records. And I think there might be comic books in there too. <laughs> I showed on Friday, I showed the truckload of sports cards I bought. Like, and I haven't got to go through it yet, which is going to drive me crazy because there could be something really good there. But I don't know if I want to take a day or two days to dig through junk wax box era cards. I spent, what, 20, 21000 on that deal? But I did get two Michael Jordan rookies and four stickers. We sold one sticker today, and I got almost 8,500 1947 Bond bread cards with Ted Williams, Joe Lewis. So we're at 1,200 with Thomas L., <laughs> yep 21k I did I mean 11 5 of that was 6 cards it was the 6 Jordan cards that was 11,000 of it so I spent 10,000 on the rest of the truck of cards and the 8,000 Bond bread cards. I figured the Bond bread cards I probably paid about $6,000 for. So I only paid about 5,000 for everything else in the truck. Well, two Jordan rookies. You saw them the other day. Yep, on those six cards. Yes, I did. <laughs> Marilyn. Marilyn, I left at your jokes. You can come back in. No, I'm just kidding. Only bid to where you're comfortable. I'm just happy that it's leaving the warehouse. And guys, we are located in Allentown, Pennsylvania. If you're traveling this summer and you want to come up here and visit, bring a bunch of cash, bring a truck. We will sell you stuff. Oh, you don't have his 86? 
You have the 88. Oh, yeah. The ones I showed the other day are his 86 FLIR. And then the stickers in a PSA 10 have sold for up to 100,000. Yeah, and my two my two Jordans will the minimum one will get a seven. One should get a nine, but they both will get at least. I think they'll both average eights. I might get an eight and a nine. Nice. Yeah, I'm gonna pay the three hundred bucks a card and send these out to PSA. These five will go out next week, and then I'll do a video and show what I get out of them. Oh, awesome, Marilyn. Ooh, Marilyn jumps back in at 12. I didn't need to, Mike. That happens to be one card I know really well. Um, yeah, there's a lot of fakes. There's a really easy thing that you look for first, um, and that is if you look at the golden arrow in the top right-hand corner, up by where it says FLIR, it should be a darker, more orangey color yellow than the rest of the wording. A lot of the fakes, they just use the same color. So that's the first thing you have to look for in that Jordan card. The guy had eight unopened packs two weeks earlier and didn't call me about them. I would have bought those and he had like 1,000 to 1,200 other 86 FLIR cards from the same collection, like seven Charles Barkleys, eight Akeem Ajabans, and I didn't get those. He sold the loose cards for 2,500, and he sold the eight packs for 6,500. I would have bought both without any question but he didn't even let me know about those. These cards he kept at his house. Oh, nice, Pirate. Actually, I have a 2000 SP Upper Deck pack sitting in my desk drawer in the office. Graded that pack selling for like 600, 700, 800 bucks. Yeah, that'll be – once I get those graded, I'll have three Jordan rookies and four stickers. Well, three stickers because I sold one today. So I'll have three Jordan rookies and three stickers. I have an offer of 8000 for one Jordan – or 8500 for one Jordan rookie and one Jordan sticker, but he wants the best of the two, and I think the, the card's going to do a nine. And if it does, it's a twenty to $25,000 card, and if the sticker gets a nine, it's probably fifteen. Thousand right now, a ten, a ten brought almost a hundred grand. Twelve ten to Maryland. Congratulations, Maryland. Awesome lot, Maryland. Twelve ten. Mike, do you have an auction tonight? If you do, you should drop your link, tell everybody when it is. And I think that's going to conclude our auction for the day. I'm about an hour past when I normally run to. But I did want to bring you guys awesome stuff today, like I promised. We had a good day. And I want to, again, thank everybody because you guys are helping us get to our goals of being able to buy our house and then I got to figure out how to move and get an apartment up here while I'm waiting for the lease on this building to be done. So again, everybody, thank you all in 30 minutes with Storage Stalker. Okay, you guys, there's Mike. Mike's having an auction with Storage Stalker in 30 minutes at 6 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. 
And Saturday, guys, I'm going to try to put up the thumbnail. I forgot to do that. Thank you, Janine, for reminding me. Tomorrow or Saturday. Yep, Saturday from 2 until 5 o'clock, we are going to do rock and roll concert posters. My wife, Kim, will have the auction here at the warehouse. So we will have that stream yard up tomorrow with the picture of some of the rock and roll concert posters. So everybody, make sure you guys go over and see and storage stalker alex yep i'm gonna send out invoices probably in about 20 to 30 minutes marilyn just want to grab us something to bite to eat and then i'll start sending out invoices see you jill see you turtle thank you again janine you're amazing I will. I'll, I'll make sure it's up either tonight or tomorrow. And then again, guys, next week we will be on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And then we will be at Reseller Rally the first week of June with, uh, with Pete, Craigslist Hunter, Lonnie, Ronnie, everybody. We'll be there. So if you guys are going to Reseller Rally, we'll see you there. I got to get shirts made before we go. Okay, everybody, have a great night. Thank you all so much for your participation. You guys are great. Hi, Sandy Kirk. And then I will get invoices out very soon. Night all. Thanks again to everyone. Mr. Buys a lot on behalf of the staff and family. Thank you very much for being here.